Okay, go. Welcome back, everybody, to Waterdeep Dragon Heist. We haven't played in a little while, but it's okay because it doesn't matter to you. <laughs> we did miss one, though. We played a game and we didn't record it, and we're sorry. But we didn't do that much. Uh, Logan was sick, so we decided to play anyways because we all wanted to play. The party in this little side off game went out and. Um, what you guys do? Uh, you got attacked by the Zentrin, and um, you fended against them and killed two of them. Zentrin that was about it. Affiliates. It was more of like what happened to us rather That's than what, what we did. Told. Yeah, you guys got you guys got a little rattled and um, uh, and got shot at and Tried nearly to burn died. Down. Hmm. They al they almost did, but they didn't. So yeah. as I having a little off game, didn't really have to do much with the plot and storyline. I apologize profusely, but also I'm not that sorry. So, <laughs> uh, welcome back to the next episode. Last time we left off, you guys were going to um, head over to the Castle Enter Villa. You got caught up with Zentrim business. Uh, it is now the next day. You guys wake up the next morning. Uh, Chivas opens the tavern uh, in the morning, uh, and you guys wake up. You make your way downstairs, uh, and you're all together in the, the tap room of the tavern. What are you guys doing? You guys ready to leave? Yes, definitely. Yes. Yeah. That was easy. Let's go then. Mm -hmm. Okay. Morning. Cut out the music. <laughs> <laughs> I right. cast it mage armor. Well, I was doing that every morning. So. Freaking spell. Yeah. All right. Um, it'll take about. I will also cast mage armor. Oh, really? Yes. Is I'm... the map of Waterdeep here? I feel like I left it. We all cast mage armor except for Chibis because he's just a strange boy. Can you yeah. cast it on other people? Nope. Yes. Um, as long yeah. as not wearing armor. No, it's self. No, it's, unfortunately. It's touch. touch. Major armor is touch. <gasps> it's touch? Yeah. But Ken can cast it on other people. Yeah, but they have to not be wearing armor. So oh, you can, you can give yeah. it to Altai. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Can give it to Abris. All it does is just bump you up by like two, three from ten. Yeah. Yeah. Please don't awesome. cast it on Alva. It'll, it'll make him more. Yeah. Well, the, the only thing about uh, Mage Armor is that it you becomes... You take the higher one. Yeah, it becomes a new AC, like, like calculation, and so you only take the higher of the calculations. So, like, mm -hmm. how I get my dex plus my con, I would have to pick either the Mage Armor or the dex plus con. Mm -hmm. I can't take both. That's cool. So, it would be really good for you, though. Yeah. So, right. you guys are um, walking along the street. It's going to take about 30 minutes to get to the Castle Lantern Villa. Funny enough... Castle Lantern Villa is like on the same street as you guys. So if, if, if you have Waterdeep, which is like, you know, kind of lo long, you guys are like here, you just have to go down this street and they're here. It's only like a 30 minute walk from your house. It's hot outside, very, very hot. You guys do have water though, so you drink your water as yeah, you we're smart enough, weather. we know summer is here now. <laughs> and you approach the villa. And a 30 minute walk isn't too bad regardless, you know? And I need to gather a few things so talk to each other as you as you walk to the castle nature villa. She's untied some more. Not as you look. You know, you're really ugly when you sweat. <laughs> you're both very ugly. Thank you, Jesus. I change into your wife. I do it too. Are we beautiful now? You're still ugly inside. That's fair. That's fair. Yeah. I'll turn back into uh, Micah. So, right. what is Castle Lander? Uh, why are we going? Uh, we're we're, we're have pretty the stone. sure. Yeah, we're pretty sure they have the stone. So, uh, we want that, right? You want that? So, yeah, I believe yes. Okay. That is right. It is fortune. Yeah, likely to be. Um, mm -hmm. Just need need to be careful though, because a few of us have <laughs> almost almost died the last couple of fights. Um, including yeah. me. Yes, most uh, fights. Yeah. I, I'm doing pretty well for myself. Didn't that one die? No, this one. Yes, died. I saved yes. his life. I lost a lot of foam last time. You did foam. lose a lot of foam. Mm -hmm. And blood. And blood. I drank poison. And then a bunch of foam and blood came out of his mouth. Mm -hmm. Real, that's fun. Yeah. yeah, it was. And then they woke me up, and then I was like, oh man, mm. why'd you do that? Why'd you do that? I was with Bella. No. Now, now is, she's dead. Who is Bella? This is my girlfriend. I thought you were a woman. No. 
women can have girlfriends too. Just so you know. Mm. I changed back into Seymour. Jeebus did not know this. Taught Jeebus something new. I'm proud. proud. Mm. Here's a gold to really let it sink in. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, Castle Enter Villa's stark white walls and gleaming crimson roof and turrets stand out even among the other opulent estates of the Sea Ward. A three-story mansion lies in the midst of a picturesque green gardens dappled with hedges and water features. The estate is surrounded by tall white brick wall with a single wrought iron gate as an entrance. The Castle Enter family crest, a green Y overlapping a stylized goose being fed, is emblazoned on the gate, and armored guards stand at attention on either side. Did we have plan? Well, it's Do a, we ever have a plan? I'm not going to be nearly oh, as easy as getting familiar. into the other one. <laughs> the other one, I was just charmed the, the guard, but there's two guards this time. Uh, let's... Probably more than two as well. Yeah, uh, can I get a count? Like, does it, are there more than two, or is it or two all that I see? Um, there are two outside the gate. And make a perception check. But I mean, are we breaking in? Are we posing as guests? Can you still, do you still know where the tea frame is? Uh, so Fifteen. Yeah. But he came here. That I know. I can only track people for an hour when I do that. Where's the freaking gate on his map? <laughs> Where are you guys? Yeah, this is trying to figure out. Yeah. I got a 15, just so you know. Uh, Alright. I think we need some sort of plan. Do you know what this castle enters is? Can I ask you a question, Jacob? Yeah, what's up? Why uh, did you draw half of it on the board and half of it on the easel pad? It's uh, I needed board. more room. Okay. It was just longer. I didn't want to cut up more paper. Okay. <laughs> what? My question is, why not just draw it all on the board? But because, because I didn't have to take the paper off because mm. he made more than one map. Yeah. Oh. What we could do, if no one's watching the gate, mm. is we take out the guards. We shape shift to look like the guards. Put on their uniforms. Then you guys go in, scout out a little bit, see what's on the inside. Well, Probably more guards. We, we don't even have to take them out. We could just uh, just charm them. Yeah, or put them to sleep. But regardless, we have to move them so that they don't. Can you charm them into giving us their things and then walking away? I could probably convince one of them. That's the problem. Is uh, do either of you guys know that spell? No. She's very charming when she wants to be. You could maybe just convince. What about what about you? No, mm -hmm. not at all. No? All right. Maybe that's what works then. More of like a stab you in the face. Yeah, I can only cast that on one person at a time. You um, could use it like, there's this thing I can do, or I can mm -hmm. just summon more I can't power. Do that. mm. That's the thing. Uh, I've seen you do that before. They like make two. Yeah, two at the yeah, time. I can't yeah. do that. I don't know if you could call other people's spells lame. Okay, just because they can't do like, as much. I know this weird language in the book. <laughs> they do have butler. Butler. Yeah, the butler. Go I just know a weird version of that language. So he is probably oh, inside. Oh. The butler is probably inside. Is there like a um, place where they like keep their their um, like coach? What is it called? Uh, yeah, there is a coach house. Uh, okay, so it's just not shown on the map. Uh, I'm just stupid. Uh, there, uh, yeah, there's. You have the villa before you and the walls that surround it. And then there's just a little courtyard out in the front that's surrounded by like a square gate that leads. There's uh, beyond the gate is a front door, and there is actually uh, it, it's like flat. If, if the, you guys are facing, it's like flat here, and then it curves this way. And there's another door here, okay. um, and there are you can easily tell there are two guards at the front gate, and then there are two guards at the front door. Maybe try to get into the where is, is, is that? Just... Is that this anywhere or is this that... is inside? Okay. Okay. So, so, so we're not inside yet. We don't. No. Really, we don't really know where the, uh, the door actually, is going to come in. Uh, yes, you guys. Are, that is the front door right there. Oh, okay. right that right there. So we're coming in this way. Yes, but there's like a gate around that. Gotcha. Area. It's and not the... shown on the map, but that's apparently what it is. There's two in front of that door. Mm -hmm. Okay. We could Got try it. being formal, just invite ourselves in without any trouble. 
We've probably asked this many times, but what do we know about the castle entrance? Go ahead and make an intelligence check. Everybody can make an intelligence mm-hmm. check. Can I, I have advantage? Because I'm from here. Go ahead. Just because of your history. I, Didn't help much. Not me. It's her history, not because she's from here. Uh, 13. Oh, okay, okay, got it. Couldn't put those guys right in front of that door, representing guards. <laughs> you put the giant D20s! <laughs> They're thick boys. Yeah. They actually do they're look. Uh, that is the exact mini for them on the right. Uh, there. Um, yeah, those are those are Waterdeep city guards. They look oh, exactly city like guards. that. Mm-hmm. Wait, they're city guards at the gate. No, not they're not city guards. Yeah, uh, actually, yeah, actually, they don't look like that. They are they are castle enter guards. They have the emblem emblazed on on their oh, leathers was, that they wear. Yeah. Yeah, but that would change the situation. Nope. Massively. No, no, no. Um, what did everybody get? Uh, thirteen. Thirteen. I already know. Okay. Yeah, before. Six, but I also know things. That Seven. <laughs> you guys, unfortunately, don't seem to know much about the castle lanterns. Let's see if I've written anything in my notes. Oh, no. I just know that they were idea. down on their luck for a while, and then oh, yeah. now they're not. These people? They also are missing one of their children. They also belong to a cult, right? No, so I know of. They, they worship no. a god. All we know is they were successful businessmen, then they were unsuccessful, and, and they're now successful. they're successful again. The well, and if the castle lanterns have the, the, stone. the stone, then that means that tiefling man is here. Yes, yes. their butler. Who usually makes the plans? We are all standing outside of gate. Uh, the nothing. man who made the plans lost his head. Yeah, he's, he he made plans and then deviated. Well, so. did you not like our other plan? Where we, we have no plan. Where we become the guards. It, the gate's see through, right? There's two there more, are guards so. here mm-hmm. and guards right there. I was there thinking are four we could sneak around shop. to the back and it look for the house. How tall is the wall? I kind of like that. How tall is the it's wall? 20 feet, right? Uh, the wall is 20 feet, yeah. It's a very big wall. Mm-hmm. Should be. Do you guys want to take that path? Which path? We can try it. Go. Try, to, try to lead the, those guards away and then... No. Off them. That's not what I meant. No, uh, I said just... something after. I think only my what, brother. What was it? Uh, to speak. Go around to the back and look for the coach house <coughs> and try to get in through there, because... That could work. I'm, I'm pretty good at, at climbing and getting up into places mm-hmm. like that. Very well. We continue around back. It doesn't say how tall they are, actually. It bothers me. One foot. Probably about ten feet, I yeah. think. One foot. Ten feet is kind of the average. Fifteen to twenty feet is how tall they are, mm. so they're pretty fucking tall. Yeah. Um, almost <clears> like <throat> big fences. And we're going to go around back. You head around the back. Uh, you guys begin to circle around the entire thing, and you We're can just watch for, the entirety of the back of the, the the place. Looking for a place where they would keep their um, their like little coach. coach. Their what? Which their I coach. obliterated. Their clo- their coach. Yes. Uh, yes, they do have a coach house, um, and it, it's there. I don't think it covers the coach. <laughs> Great. It does cover the entrance to the coach house. So the the opening garden kind of starts at like um, at the top up here, and it goes all the way down. And it curves this way, and it uh, comes to the end of it. And there's one, two, three entrances there. Uh, one to the coach house, and then two into that front room, uh, that, like the main area. Hmm? Anywhere on this map, or yeah, can you point it? Uh, it is. Yep, yeah, this is the coach house right okay. here. Okay. And the entrance would be here. Okay. okay. Are there any guards? Mm, they're not stationed there, but there are two on patrol. Um, and they, like typical video game style, they like, there's the two at the gate, there's the two right there, and then there's two that move up and down through the entirety of the thing. So there's no, there's no two guards stationed at the coach house. But there, there's two patrolling. You do they go maybe from time like, the say, how, front how all the way does it around, feel, or yeah. do they just go like walk this? Uh, no, they, 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 exactly that. So go back up there. They go there, and then they go all the way down. So this whole area, it has a, has the little thing in front of it. So they just walk that. 
they, do they do they like pass each other in the middle or do they, they go together? together? Uh, they're dumb and they're walking together. Okay. Um, like a video game, does this work where I hide in a bush and then I whistle and then I just snap their neck? Mm -hmm. All right, you can certainly try. I'm not good well, at snapping I, necks. I could uh, watch you know, them. Like, I could wait till they get about halfway halfway through just their step, step and then just pick the lock. I can do that pretty quietly. I like that um, one where we both kill people. Just uh, can I it. listen? Oh, wait. There's still a fence to get over, right, Doug? Er, y yes, it's a okay. gate. It is not a wall. It's a, a gate, gate to get over. Yeah. Okay. Does a gate look like it's walked? Oh, no, wait. I think it's a wall with... Is... It's a white brick wall. We'll say this is 10 feet tall. This little area that covers just the entrances is 10 feet tall on the wall. Uh, the only gate that goes in is, is over there. Problem? And you guys could get a vantage point where you could see, like, okay, you can tell it's the coach house and that there's an entrance over there. Um, you'd be mostly guessing when you jump over it, though. Different idea then. Um, Chibus, you're probably the strongest out of all of us, right? Yes. Do you think you could boost the three of us up and over and then. How far do you need to go? How tall are you guys? Five, six, probably. Can you become people that are taller? Mm hmm. So <laughs> if I'm five, ten. You just get really long arms. <laughs> <laughs> six, seven, three feet. Yes, I can do that. What is the... Of everyone that I have ever memorized their faces to turn into, who is the tallest? Um, Mycroft. You probably... Yeah, Mycroft, actually. Mycroft was almost seven foot. Mm -hmm. I don't know how to turn into Mycroft. It's kind of a strange moment for you, Ira, and you, Seymour, as... You see Mycroft standing before you. Uh, Sorry. Hey, don't be him for long. Yeah. yeah. It's just the tallest person I have it's memorized. Okay. Really? We need to get this done. So we're going over a wall. Mm -hmm. So here, here, here's what's going to happen. Mm -hmm. As the guards... <laughs> you guys needed Mycroft. <laughs> as the guards come down this way... Yes. You'll get up against the wall, and you'll boost us up, and then... Back off as if you're not doing anything. We'll wait for another pass through, and then I'll drop my rope, grapple onto the wall, so you can climb. Okay. Basically, we're just trying to do all this when the guards aren't watching. Yes, of course. Does that make sense? Just explain to me what you do. So, the way this plan is going to look is, as the guards are going this way and going to round the corner... Um, you can't see them from where you are right now. Sorry. Because there's a wall in the way, not a, not a fence. Oh, the guards are on the inside, not the outside. Yeah, they're the not wall. on the outside. They're on the inside. <sighs> that changes a lot of things. Mm-hmm. Uh, I wonder if you can go invisible, right? Yes. You do that all the time. Uh, yes, I do. So, just put your hand up and be ready for an invisible this one, an invisible Ari, to... Uh, Step into your hand so and boost up. The guards can't see us right now. We're outside of the wall. Nope. No guards can see you right Tensor's now. Tensor's floating disc. <laughs> this floating disc appears. Three feet off the ground. Mm -hmm. You step onto it and you, you uh, lift it up to the top of the wall. Um, I'm going to try to peer over and see where the guards peer are. Peer over. The guards you. are not there. They're about in the middle, making their way back over in about... Less than a minute, they're going to turn around and they're going to head back. They're going to be able to see you. All right. Let's wait for them to come back this way, stay down, and then when they go back, you hop over and open the door. You'll have like a minute to do it. Do you think you can? Well, there's no door on this side. Isn't the, the, the door to the coach house? Is, oh, yeah, I can do that in a minute. Yeah, you peer over. Easy. You do see the door to the coach house. There's no guards outside of it. Easy. It, it might be locked. We'll have more than a minute. Yeah, easy. We wait for the yeah. cycle. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, so I should go first then, right? Yes, but let's wait for them to head back that way. We wait. So I'll be the one on the disc. Since it's disc. I'll turn back into okay. myself because I don't need to be tall anymore. Okay. Uh, you wait and you wait and the guard, uh, the guards turn around and they walk back over. And then they, they know, they came at your broken line of sight, they can't even see you. Um, you can hear them talking, however. Mm -hmm. um, what are they saying? Make a perception check. 
They then they then turn and they be, begin to make their way back. Okay, right. Jump over if you want. Um, I'm going to go first. All right, Ira, you step up onto the disc, hop over the fence, and you and I will stealth make a stealth check. Uh, dirty twenty. Yeah, you very. Uh, you kind of bring your feet down like onto the grass, and you're now in this courtyard. Uh, the guards have their backs to you, and they're just kind of conversing and talking to one another as they as they walk by the coach. Um, the interest the coach has is right here. Cool. I'm going to. So the coach house is covered by the wall, so everyone wants to go through the disc to get over, right? Yes. Gotcha. All right. So then you guys are following right after. Um, I'm gonna go and uh, and try to pick the lock on the coach house if it is locked. Yeah, we're all following immediately. Okay, you guys all hop over. Everybody needs to make stealth checks. A hard one to beat. They don't know coming. 14. 14. Dirty 20. Okay. 17. Yeah, you guys are all great. You all uh, just stealth your way in, slowly make your way across the, the, the grass. Ira, you go over uh, to the wooden door, and uh, there's a handle there, and there is a lock on it, and you push it, and it... Uh, it opens. Oh, cool. And I'll slide in. All right. Go ahead and grab your mini and put yourself over here. Oh. <clears throat> yeah. All of us, sir? Yeah, you're all in there. Okay. You stealth your way in, oh, and as soon as you do, you. you have a very strong scent of manure and hay. It smells like a stable in here. And you oh. can hear... <clears throat> and <clears throat> there are horses in here at the moment. Um, oh, uh... And uh, they they kind of start making some noise when you when you make your way in, but they're they're not like you know they're they're just like oh they acknowledge your presence. Um, <clears throat> there are, are any people in here? Like from what you can see right there, no. Stable hands or something? Uh, can I? No, I don't think that there's people. There's a door to uh, that way and um, to the end. Just depends on where you want to go. I think we should. Oh, oh, I see. Okay. You're in a hallway. There's a door here, yeah. there, and then there's a door here. I think we should okay. try to go through this way and get over to here. Uh, we, we, we haven't seen that yet. We don't know what it looks like over there. We walked around the entire place, though. There's around rolls. the wall. You have no idea what the inside we looks can, like. Yeah, we don't know anything about this building. Uh, let's just go forward. Let's make your way over. Uh, this is another hallway with a door here and a door here. You can tell this door leads out into the courtyard. <clears throat> I think we should go out. Um, can I like look through the keyhole to see if I see the guards? Yeah, go ahead and... Or, unless there's windows. Um, there is a window on okay. the door. Okay. You look through the window on the door. I got a couple of boys over here for you. A couple of boys? Yeah. Oh, thanks. Soy boys. Make a perception check for me. We're looking yep. for stone. Stone's probably given to the castle hunters. Ten. Ten? Mm -hmm. There are no guards up here. Um, there are butterflies floating around that you can see as you uh, as you begin to look around. Wait, did you roll a four? No, I got a ten. Oh, a ten. Uh, so I don't know why in my head I processed you get a four. I'm like, why am I telling you all this? Um, and in... About over here, you can see movement. Two figures moving over there. Okay. They definitely aren't guards, though. It, it, you can't tell from this distance. You're like, what? Who, who is that? It's too far away. Guys, there's butterflies. Oh, what kind? Like flapping. Uh, the blue ones. Okay. And two people. And two people. Where are they? Mm -hmm. A ways away. Can I look? Try to see if I can see what those two figures are. Make a perception check. Come on. Ooh, I'm not rolling well tonight. Uh, seven. Can't tell. Yep, just people. Let's go. Okay. Should we go out there? If we go out there, they might see us. Should we go the other way? That way? Yeah. Yes. Those two figures are like, whatever. Yeah. 
We're going this to, is we're going tree, this tree, and there's uh, bushes here. We're entering this room. All right, you enter this room. It's just supplies, wooden crates with um, horse feeding supplies and and uh, and uh, like <coughs> carriage accessories, wheels, um, saddles, things like that. Uh, what kind of like food do I see in here? Hay, feed. feed. Put some in my pocket. All right, take some horse feed and put it in your pocket. <coughs> We could, uh, no. <coughs> but here? it might come in use. Yeah, we're going to keep going. Just, I think, straight. Way, really yeah. Okay. Uh, you guys keep going. There's a door, and uh, some. you guys can see out. Mm -hmm. uh, there's uh, a tree here, mm -hmm. and then a building here. I, I have a question. They, they, they made horses out of this, right? Mm -hmm. Where the fuck do they do that? Just take it through. No. Oh, no, I don't know how to do it. I'm assuming, well. We probably haven't entered the room. <laughs> you know what? The door you went through was like a big stable door. Yeah. So uh, that's where they laid them out. We okay. could, uh, we could maybe rile the horses a little bit and run them out and cause a little bit of chaos. I don't know, I don't know if we need to do that quite yet. That, that would be investigated. It you would be. scare horses, they look for what scare horses. But then if we're not here, then the horses are scared. Yes, it's, we're going it's to continue gonna, to look for what mm, scared the horse. Right now they're not suspicious, then they'll be suspicious. We need to make the least noise possible. That is a good idea for when we need a distraction. But first we need to find the stones. Can we, is there like a window out? Yeah, is there anything in this room? Um, in this room, no. Can we peek out? You peek out, you see a tree just right there, and uh, you see a building. Yeah, I'll try to scope out the people I haven't done that yet. Go ahead and roll. Uh, well, 11. It's like the sun's in your eyes. You just yeah. can't tell. Okay. You do notice something cheapest from this vantage point, though. There are six ravens just hanging out in the garden. They're on trees. They're perched around. They're kind of just okay. looking, looking out of it. And it's weird because it's the middle of summer, and this is like a random garden. And it stands out. You're like, that's weird. It's like yeah. six ravens right there. Yeah, he's a pretty smart guy, so he knows mm -hmm. a bit about that. They have some sort of not natural birds, maybe keeping watch. I hope they don't eat the butterflies. How do they do? Birds like butterflies. Like you said they were keeping watch. Well, they do not fit. I'm not familiar with why they would be here otherwise. It might make it uh, much harder to uh, sneak through the rest of this place. Yes, we did come with absolutely no plan at all. Keep saying that, but we came up with several plans. Where are the birds? Oh, yeah. They are, this is like a courtyard right here. They're like in these trees okay. and these bushes over here, um, perched on top of the buildings. They're just kind of in this general area. Okay. It's like one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's spread out. What okay. Jeebus is saying is that we have step-by-step -step plan of how to get where. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We don't really know our objective. Good to find we the stone, know. but we don't know where the stone is. Exactly, that is the issue. There's well, not much there's we can not, do. Yeah, there's not a way to know where the stone is until we find it. Alright, there's no point in arguing. Uh, is this a door over Yeah, there? Jake. Where? Is that a door? Or is that just you, like... That's not a door. Okay. It looks like we're going to have to deal with those two people. Now that we're here, um, nice. like... Can you describe what what this house looks like and what this one looks like? Um, this one is uh, both of them are three stories okay. and go to about this height. This one has another story that goes about to here, and then another like building up up here. Okay. Uh, and then th this looks like you don't know what the purpose is. You guys can make an intelligence check to try to figure it out. This is the main building. It has three stories as well. It has a balcony off the side. That's like the main mansion. Okay. This is uh, like a... What do you guys get? Natural 20. Cool. Five. Cool. 13. Five. Um, for whatever reason, Ari, you are a master in uh, knowledge of and architecture of mansions. And you're like, that's the guest house. All right. So there's... You would also assume there's probably nobody in there unless they have guests. Maybe they have guests. Hmm. Have there, have there been any like festivals recently that I think they would might have guests for any reason? You all know that Founders Day is in like a few days. 
is Founders Day? Founders Day is uh, like Day President's Day, Day or is it? Like it's enough? as far as I'm aware, it's basically what the name entails. We it's celebrate it's the like the Fourth of July, but for Fourth of July. Okay. <laughs> it's like oh yeah, celebrate the. And it's in the middle of summer, and everybody celebrates and has a good time. Okay. There's like little decorations up in their garden or something. <laughs> kind of, yeah. It, you know what? You guys do actually notice that they are preparing for it. Okay. Maybe we should get on top of this house so that we can get past everyone over here. Get on top of the stable? This house. Oh. That could work. I mean, I'm, we have to find a way to get into this house, probably. Yeah, there's probably a lot of stairs. Um, we could go, we could go back out and try to get over in this door. We could. <laughs> I don't know how we're gonna get <coughs> from on top of here to over here. Um, I just could. Keep grappling hook. Surfing. Oh. I was gonna say with the grappling hook, I could maybe make a tightrope. If you think we can do it. We have to watch out for those birds. And we're still gonna have to get past these two people. We need to get into here. If we are good with arrows, we could kill birds. I can't use a crossbow. They would, they would be alerted far before I could kill all six of them. I've seen lizards shoot like small balls of yeah. stuff that never I miss. take it back. I am quite good with a crossbow. Hmm. <laughs> Again, that, that makes a lot of noise, though. So you could do the same like that I do, bang. where mm. it just makes no noise at all. Or I could uh, not do that. You could. Because uh, you could let me teach you're better you. than me. I've never heard of anyone teaching it before, but I think if I tried really hard, so, I could teach you. Grappling hook? Is that what we're thinking? Are there yes. any better ideas? Make a tight rope. Okay. Tight rope. Jacob, uh, a bad idea. I know this one has, you said this one has a tower. Uh, yeah, it's got three stories. Okay, does that also have three stories? Mm -hmm. Does it also have a tower? Um, I didn't know this one. It has a, yeah, it has a turret. Okay. Uh, do they both have windows? Uh, th this one doesn't really have a tower on it. It just has like a second story, and then the third story is smaller than the second story. It's like mid. Okay, okay. So uh, then sense. that building right there has, um, and you can tell it's probably like an attic. Yeah. That building has the first first floor, then it has this the second floor, then the third floor, and along that right there, you see yeah. that weirdly shaped that's building. The tower. That's the tower. Okay. <clears throat> There's also a balcony that goes like on the second story, like right here around it. It's doable. So we could do it at the second story instead of the third. Well, I feel like we'd have to go like as high as we can because there's going to be slack once we, you put. We down. should go That's from true. top story to second story on other building. And this right here is a stairway that down. goes up okay. to the balcony. Okay. We're gonna have to be on our game. Yeah. All right. Chibis, can you help us out? With what? Getting up on top of this building. Oh, we are climbing the side? Well, I'm assuming we can't, we're not going to be able to make it to the front door. Um. So how tall, how, did he say how tall? How tall the stable is? No, how, this how far up it is from the first floor to the second floor. Well, There's from like that balcony? side right there, there is a balcony actually right here that's about 20 feet up. So maybe in the cover of that... And there's like a grate on it, so... Is that a bush or a tree? It's a tree. Maybe in the cover of that tree I could toss my grapple up and we could just climb. Yeah, can you make I your... I suggest you go for a tree. I can only do one or two. Of your discs? I can't make many. What do you mean there was a grate on it? I my grapple. It was like a... Be better. It's a... It's a... Like a metal uh, railing that goes along the side, and it's got little bars in it. Oh, the balcony? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. So it would be really easy to throw a grapple into it. Okay, right. try not to make any noise with it then. Well, it's metal. Um, it's gonna be a little bit to make it. Wait, wait, wait. Can I have your socks? I guess. What? Okay. Yeah. I take off my socks too. Okay. I, I, I give him my socks. socks. Take off your socks. Put it on. Like the four. Mm -hmm. I put on the four hooks. You. <laughs> you put the no. socks on the hooks. And then I'll tie them together in the middle. Okay, you muffle your uh, <laughs> your your grappling. Go take an inspiration. That was awesome. And you're gonna chuck it. Uh, yeah. 
You make your way outside of... Um, what's your passive perception? I will stealth, also. What's your passive perception? We don't really need passive to 11. climb the tree. We can just yeah. throw it straight on the balcony. And then that's what I, that's yeah. the plan. As soon as you make your way out, you start to stealth. Those figures over there, you can hear them a little bit more. And you kind of take a listen in. You can hear, like, I want to go play over there. I want to find the butterfly. And you see them running over. They're two kids. Towards us? No, they're just... They're just like playing in like the the they're like squatting and they're looking around and they're like like trying to catch butterflies and they're like chasing them. It's just two little kids. Okay, cool. Well, that makes well, it's easier. Hopefully. What um, do they look like? Mm, you're not out there. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, I mean, I assume it sounds like. As soon as you're not looking through like a tiny little is, square is one, in a door is one, is one, and you head out there. Is one male and one female. Uh, yep. One's a boy. One's a girl. Okay. The boy looks older. Okay. All right. Do they look like? Like similar, like they would be related, or do they look like they're just like? Mm, that would mean make a, make a perception check. Uh, sixteen. Yeah, they're both. Um, because that would, if they if they don't look alike at all, then that tells me they're that both they like dirty blonde hair. Um, the boy's is kind of long, like down to like his chin. Um, the girl is a uh, long, very neat in a ponytail. Um, they both are like barefoot running around in the dirt trying to catch butterflies. Um, the girl's wearing this, uh, like this little dress and the boy's wearing, uh, like a white, um, uh, shirt and like these like pantaloons that look like very like noble and, and whatnot. It's like that kid shouldn't be wearing those, but whatever. Uh, and they're, they look to be running around like they're very finely dressed for kids. <clears throat> okay. Look probably noble of some sort. Um, I'm going to try to toss my grapple. Toss it. I go, it's Delta check. Uh, dirty 20. It, it, it doesn't like clang, it just kind of makes like a sound as you kind of hook onto it. Begin to. <laughs> <laughs> what? what? Just, the transition was like. <laughs> no words. You know what I was doing? Or? Oh, no, no, no. I, I was doing this way, which is going oh, down, okay. so I switched to. I <laughs> um, yeah, you, you slowly climb up the top of it, and you make your way on on top of the balcony. Make your way over. Um, at at this moment, you can kind of see um, uh, a raven just kind of flies over on top of the building. It doesn't look at you. It's it's kind of it's back to you, and it's ah, oh! and it's just kind of clicking around and looking. Uh, and you notice that it has a butterfly in its in its talons, and it kind of picks down and picks at it and like eats it. <clears throat> Where is it at, at compared to me? So if you can move me to where I am too. You're on a. Uh, yeah, get one of the. the um... Oh yeah. Huh. You're right here on the balcony. Oh. And it's right? like here. Okay. <laughs> Dude, your bow's already aimed at it. Yeah, yeah I know. Sure I don't want to use the bow though because then it'll fall. To where those little oh. kids are running around and playing. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, gonna try, I'm gonna try to stealth over to it. Make a stealth check. Oh boy. Are we natural pe- twenty? Oh my gosh. <laughs> You're like you look at it and it's like it's like eating the butterfly and it's like not paying attention to you move. Very, very slowly. You start to make your way over to it. You pull out of the dagger and you get like right up. I wanna stab it and grab. Make an attack roll. You have advantage because it doesn't know you're coming. Uh, 23. Luckily, it's eating, so it doesn't go, ah, when it dies, mm-hmm. it just, and it just, as soon as you hit it, it, it transforms. It is no longer a bird. It, shut the fuck up. <laughs> it, uh, it turns into this small red creature about this big, uh, head, Funny. little wings, uh, little arms, and, uh, claws, and you stab right through it, and it, it dies with like butterfly coming out of its mouth. Pull it. And you pull it. And you're like, Ugh! it's like super weird and creepy. It's like a small baby. It's like, Ugh! come back over towards the other side. Okay. Uh, I assume we're following out. Yeah, I'm gonna yeah. cast message. Yeah. Is it okay that can we come up? Now? You guys all see the kids. Um, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm smart yeah. enough. I've seen everything that these guys employ be under some sort of illusion. Nothing that they have been related to is as it seems. So I'm going to make an investigation check. For illusions? Yes. Okay. Or any sort of shape shifting, like 
anything interesting about their mannerisms. I'm aware for that the kids. Th yeah. Okay. I'm aware that the task lanterns have two small children, right? Uh, ten or a passive of thirteen. It's up to you. You look over and you just. They, they, they look and seem real. Okay. You, you're not wrong to question it, but it's like the kids are just sitting there and they're looking yeah. around and they're they're uh, they're just playing and chasing after butterflies. Okay. Oh, I'm up then. Do we all see those kids now? Yeah, you guys all see the kids. Okay. I think we're all climbing up. Yeah. Hmm. All right, you guys all climb up and you make your way to the second story of this right. building. Putting it up against the wall. So. You guys see Ira holding this creepy, small-looking demon thing. Wait, didn't and he we... goes over and sits it up against the wall. <coughs> didn't we fight one? Yeah, I fought mm -hmm. three. Mm -hmm. These, uh, they, had little, they had the little things on the... You would be especially afraid. This is the thing that the last thing you saw before you fell off the back of that carriage mm -hmm. and it knocked you out with its pincer tail. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> They're stingers, aren't they? Yeah. I think all the way into these things. Uh, yeah. Yes, there's nothing for a hole. I can't see it, but it's. You yeah, didn't that's the <laughs> problem. Somebody fell. The problem is that that's the problem is that that's problem. Yeah. Oh yes, they can. Forget. You're gonna go in that door. Um. All like right. Uh, into stealth. that first door right there. Yeah. Which one of the? Uh, that one. Toward you. Yeah. Uh, go ahead and make your way in. Uh, make that stealth check. Uh, 24. Nine. Okay. Man. Uh, you guys make your way in. There's nobody in here. Mm -hmm. uh, this is uh, a the master bedroom. There's a large canopy bed, a standing mirror in a gilded frame, a writing desk, and a matching chair, a dresser, a tall wardrobe, and an owlbear throw rug mm -hmm. draped over a padded chair with a matching ottoman. A very fancy looking room. Does Do these look like prepared amenities or does it look like someone is temporarily here? Like are there personal belongings? Is anything slightly out of order? No, nobody's living in here, you can tell. It's prepared like yeah. this and probably kept, up kept, mm -hmm. but there, it hasn't been moved around. There's no stuff lying about. There's no, no bags course. or anything. It's like it's mm -hmm. nobody's in here. Can I make a perception check to see if I hear like anyone moving around inside? Yeah, make a perception check. I'll do the same. Twelve. Twelve. All right. Same. Uh, you guys don't hear anybody in this room, okay. in in the entirety of this building. Okay. Well, we're making our way up, so. Uh, All right. So where would you go? Uh. Without I'd assume since we know that no one's in here, we're going to try to spread out, so I'm going to go in here. All right, you head in there. That is a uh, just a room with a stairway that heads up to the attic. You should go that way, then. Find it. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> make your way up the stairway. I'm like going to a doorway, and then he says that. I'm like, yeah. dang it. <laughs> Gee, this is lightning fast. Is there anything like, like a candlestick that I can t swipe real quick? Strangely, no. Well, actually, we keep our candles on the ground. there are oil lamps and lanterns uh -oh. uh, that light up the area. Um, strangely, though, and this is, make a wisdom check. Let's see if this is strange to you. Uh, this is 17. 17? Yep. Okay, this is a little weird. Uh, there, There is like a little uh, candlestick and like a little iron uh in an in a iron holder and this is like weird like huh okay typically in in fancy places like this they don't just use iron it rusts it looks nasty mm -hmm. typically they'll use something of finer quality it's kind of weird that you look around they're all made of like rusty iron they have candles in iron hold in iron in little holders. iron holds and it's like they normally well they normally use Kind of weird. Oh, just off. Okay. All right. I'm, we're just gonna keep yeah, going. Yeah, we're heading up. Okay. They use iron for their candlesticks. Did you notice that? No, I didn't notice that. It's kind of tacky. Okay. It's cost efficient. Cost efficient. I mean, <laughs> they have an elevator throw rug. It's not really cost efficient when you have to keep replacing them. Hmm. Maybe they don't care. Guest Make your way up to this room. Um, there's just a door in it. 
Go through the door. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Which one? <laughs> There's two. What? Uh, the one. Uh, There's three. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go through that one. Yeah, I'll follow him. Yeah, we're trying to head for that tower, so whichever yeah. one makes sense. Uh, you head in there. Um, I get confused and lose my sense of direction and go back. <laughs> These are all bedrooms. These are just all bedrooms. Do none of uh, <coughs> they have windows? Any of them? We'll say, yeah, this one has a window right here. That looks out down there. Balcony's right below it. Can it get changed outside? Nope. Are there any windows in this room at all? Actually, yeah, there, uh, sure. There's a few windows out there. You'd be able to look around. Are they openable windows? Yes. Okay. As you make your way over to the window over here, you look out and you see somebody standing on the balcony on the oh, other side. Huh? <coughs> can we can we have the, the the level that they're at? Uh, I would give it to you if I drew it. Oh, I had a lot of maps to draw. Yeah, I did okay. not draw the levels to that building because they are massive. So, um, <clears throat> uh, but it, they're really easy to maintain. So, on on the other side of that one, where exact level to you mm-hmm. is uh, a woman standing on the outside. She's very beautiful. She has, uh, her hair is kind of pulled up to like a bun on one side. She's got this very eloquent looking dress. And she's got those, that like long kind of uh, like cigarette holder. Uh, and she's just kind of smoking. Oh, yeah, those things. It's that long? It's, uh, <laughs> yeah. 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 Have you never seen those before? Fun. I've it's seen like ones that are like this long. Stick. No, it's, oh. it, they're long yeah. and they, they're, they're like old timey. Mm-hmm. And uh, you put okay. the you put it in the end. And, and no, I know what you're talking about. Typically, I've, like I've women never seen one that long. They're, I'm just gonna assume. Huge, I'm gonna assume she's really rich. That she yeah. yeah. Has, like, it's like longer. golden laid on the end. It's like super fancy. She's over there. The and she's looking down joint, and she's smoking and she's fanning herself because of the heat. And she's she's watching the kids. And then she kind of she kind of um, hits it on like an uh, an ashtray on the side. She puts it down and she turns around and walks um, into the building. That's not who it is. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I think that's so, Mrs. Castellanto. So okay. are we going to go with that uh, tattoo of right here? Yes. Think that that's the best thing we can do, yes. And if we want to get over there... Hope none of us fall and that the imps don't see us. And now we know there's someone across. Yeah. But they're done smoking, so... Question, Jacob. Is there she anything to though, tie this to in this room? To tie a rope to 15 minutes, that means we have 15 minutes. Yeah, we'll say there's a... There's a... There's a desk in here, in and it's bolted to the ground. Cool, I will tie a rope to that desk. Whoa, wait, 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 wait. wait. <laughs> right? I don't want anyone to steal Is that desk. canon? <laughs> Is that, what? There's a, bolt, there's a desk bolted to the ground in here? Mm-hmm. <laughs> this is a prison. This is, a, this is straight up a prison. I'm surprised there's not bars on the window. Do, do any of you Sorry, it doesn't have to be bolted. Oh, do any okay. of you three have a, a prison for an owlbear? No, I live in the city. I don't need that. Super dead now. Do you have a rope? No. We're magicians. We don't... Oh, wait, <laughs> wait, 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 I do have a rope. Thank you. Yeah. I don't know why I've been carrying that I'll, around and not knowing about I'll it. I'll tie this rope to that rope and then tie again. Make a... Slide of hand check rope. using intelligence. We don't have rope, we just have lots of handkerchiefs it's tied together. Oh, that's oh, fine. Yes. <laughs> it's literally exactly the same for me. Uh, that'd be a dirty 20. All right, you tie a pretty damn good knot. How, mm-hmm. how long is that rope now? Uh, 100 feet. 100 feet of rope, all right. And then... Can I look down? You guys are a story above the balcony on the other side, so you actually would Hell go down. Yeah. yeah. Can you see what? Can I see if the kids are still down there? They are. Okay. They're running around. They're like, they're like trying to catch butterflies, and they're, you know. Sweet. Hey, Chivas. Those butterflies are getting fucking. Home. Chivas. Yep. That. Uh, that. Uh, Look down. They're like feeding them to the birds. The distance, right? Demon yes. children. How far can it go away from you? A hundred feet. Perfect. Uh, okay. <laughs> it's just like. So, which one of us do you think is the least likely to be able to succeed at? Tightrope walking. For achievements, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, so what about this? Do you think that you could cross on the disc and take my grapple and then hook my grapple to something on that side? I can't travel on disc. How much can I hold? 500 pounds. Do you weigh more than 500 pounds? No, I can't tell it to the, move. The disc, yeah, you can't control how it moves. It simply follows you. It's like a, a backpack. That's annoying. It's good for... Um, 
carrying dinner trays, not cheapest. <laughs> hey, do you want to get on the roof, roof to throw it? That way, you get some like more distance. That would be fun. Weird ass music. Can, can I get up onto the roof? You start to hear yeah. chanting. Uh, an athletic strip. We'll try that. I'm taking. I have the grapple hooked to my pack, so I can. There's gonna be so okay. many fucking demons. Um, fucking that would be a fifteen. Yeah, you turn. Uh, you kind of uh, look out the side. You kind of you kind of squat in the window. You're you're like really thin and small too. You kind of like and you jump up and you grab the top of it and you pull yourself up and uh, you kind of push past the shingles and you're now on top of the. Cool. Room. I'm gonna pull all the excess rope up. Okay. And I'm going to. All right. Say whatever oh, form of a prayer I can. All right. <laughs> hey Jesus. God. And <laughs> said this balcony on the other side, right? Mm, yeah. Logan, can you move your fat head? No, it's. Hey, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what was wrong with it? Ah. It was just in the way of Colton. Oh, I wanted to see his face. Message. Thanks. <laughs> message down at uh, towards Ari. Okay. Micah. Sorry, Micah. Uh, this might be loud. Just a heads up. Alright. See more you hear that. Well, point hear, it down hear at hear what? <laughs> you can't see her. <laughs> point down, you hear that. If, I, point, if I know the person, I point in the direction, it just goes to them, right? Mm-hmm. Oh, you can pick the person? Mm-hmm. If you're familiar with If I'm familiar with the person. Yeah. Oh, I thought it was like an aimed spell. If you're intimately familiar. Okay, alright, you hear that. <sighs> Are we okay right, with that? Good luck. Try to... Try to be quiet. I don't know. You have socks. It's all right? the socks on it. All right. <laughs> Dirty, smelly socks. So we have like big wool socks. socks. They're uh, only socks. Like big wool socks. Um, <laughs> <laughs> they <laughs> smell <laughs> like clean laundry. Excuse me. You, I bathe every day. You every can, day. You don't know I did that. <laughs> it's <laughs> also summer, and it's also medieval times. <laughs> you I bathe every day. day. <laughs> I have <laughs> servants for this. Servants clean your socks. Yeah. I immediately feel offended. I just. This is maybe the dumbest thing I've ever done in this game. Uh, I am going to try to chuck the grappled rope onto the balcony of the second floor. That's okay. A pretty normal decision in my book. That shouldn't, I, be, that shouldn't be too hard considering you're technically on a fourth floor yeah. Yeah. aiming for a second floor. It's about 80 feet. Uh, third floor aiming for a second floor. Well, I'm on the roof, on the roof. though. Yeah. Which adds have, like another 15 feet. Does anybody about have 40 feet. Hand? Oh no, it's over uh, here. Yeah. Do what? Mage hand. Yeah, I was going to mage hand it. How far is it? 70 feet. 70 feet? That's a lot of feet. Okay, let me... Let me see what I can do with mage hand legendary. (laughs) You heard us, right? That we're tech... Like, we think we're on the fourth floor because he's on the roof of the third floor? So it might give me a few more feet of height. It might not matter a whole lot, but it might matter a lot. How how big is a, 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 a story? 10 feet? About usually, oh, yeah. usually we'll, we'll say it's ten feet. I mean, it's oh, I don't look. Looking at this, ceilings and, and rooms are twenty-five feet high. Wow! wow. <laughs> <laughs> you are really high up. Yeah, I'm a hundred feet up right now. <laughs> You're like, oh. <laughs> I do this regularly, probably. <laughs> and yeah, it's, it's really high though. though. Is that is, is that a general rule, or does it say specifically for this? Ceilings place? in rooms are twenty-five feet high, with a seven-foot-high corridors and doorways connecting them. So it's, it's 70, this place. It's oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. It's a damn hot. That's so four it makes sense for this place. It's like upper middle class white people neighborhoods where the yeah. ceiling is unnecessarily high mm-hmm. just to make you look richer. 490 plus oh. 50. Oh, ceilings are nice. Plus 490 plus exactly. 50. 530. Mm-hmm. What are my D12? How heavy is rope? Uh, like a few pounds. I think it's three. Okay. Uh, uh, okay. One. Oh, ten. What do you think would happen? What do you think would happen? If we took all of our paper birds mm-hmm. and had them carry the rope across, <gasps> do you think that would work? <laughs> or just they tie it to the dead someone? amp and chuck it. <laughs> <laughs> That's the same as a grappling hook. It's a better idea. Though. That is that is a, a good point. You have to send it to someone. Yes. To oh. We know there's a lady across the way. Yeah, but we don't want her. To send <laughs> <it>. <laughs> I have a grappling hook covered in salt. No, no, no. Weird. I also don't. <laughs> here's here's what happens. As soon as she as soon as she holds it. We go across and just kick her in the face I and then hold it and know. then she's out. She just gets a floating <laughs> grappling hook with okay. socks on it and she's like, 
What? <laughs> um, okay. Do I do I know what, what her I, name just, is? Just what I always wanted, Lady Castle Lantern. Yeah, what her name is. I think it's like Amelia or something. But it's okay. Amalia. Amalia. Alright, so I mean, Amalia I don't know what and to do this, I just gotta do it. Um I don't have anything that I can use to try to. We're the D12. So I'm so gonna take. To I'm gonna take as much of the rope as I can, Jacob. Okay. Because <laughs> it's still tied to the bottom floor. Okay. I'm gonna coil it. And then. You got I'm, about. I don't know. I have a lot to coil. You got about 90 feet of rope. Would it's about 10 feet to come out up to the top. And 25 feet up. Would it? Oh, okay. Would yeah, it, that's like. Which is fine. So I would say that's you. You. You've got 70 feet of rope. Perfect. Can I ask a question real quick? Go oh, sorry, from him. Uh, can a strength of two hold a rope? Oh, barely, I think. Why? What are you trying to get to hold a rope? An unseen servant? Yeah, it yes, it could hold it. And could it tie it? It could tie it. It doesn't need to tie it, it has a grapple on it. Oh, that's right. You would just need to place the grapple. Yeah, I don't it think could it's do gonna it matter. Gingerly. It couldn't like lock it in there. I don't think it's gonna matter because I would still have to. You'd still have to throw it, and then you'd have to catch it. Oh, yeah, screw that. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So it's gonna right. be the same. So way. then, what I'm gonna do? So since I have all that coiled up, the idea is when I chuck it, it'll just uncoil, right? You get what I'm saying? Yeah. And so I'm gonna take a piece of it. And I'm gonna kind of like spin it, and I'm gonna. You're just tossing it. So you're it. leaving it coiled. Huh? Yes, like not tied. Coiled. So that when I chuck it, it'll just... You will have to chuck it hard. Coiling it's going to add re resistance. If it's free, it doesn't have if any resistance. If it's free, then there's a chance of like pieces of it spilling. I'm, the idea is for this to make it as smooth as possible. I think the way, the way that we're imagining it is like you hold you hold the the end of it like the very end of the rope, and then you ha you throw the head of it, and that way there's no resistance when you're throwing it. It just it just goes. Because what ends up happening is you chuck it, and it'll go it'll go taut at the coil because the coil's gonna have to catch up with it, and it'll it'll just fall flat. You would have to chuck it super hard in order for you to get it. Uh, fine. All right. Well, then if if like grab if like holding on to it will make it. Quicker or make it smoother, then I'll hold on to it. Oh god, I, like I would make count, a yeah. damn good strength check. Take an inspiration. Okay. What what are inspirations right now? D8s? D6. We're level four. Level four should be D6. Is it weird that it really pisses me off that I only have eleven D12? No. That sucks. That fucking sucks. You said strength check? Yeah. Can I use athletics? Mm, this isn't really like athletics. It's like a shot put, which is literally an athletic sport. Yeah, it's not. A, it's a grapple put, which you have not trained yourself it's, to do. It's more. Well, okay, I'm imagining it like like disc. The, like the discus. Yeah, I, I was gonna say discus, and for some reason that sounded like a made up word. <laughs> it's like no, that's this a video a, game. This is a really niche thing you're trying to do, so no, you don't get proficiency. You can, you can do. Okay. It's all momentum yeah, that's it. yeah. Uh, it's, it's, still... it's not like anything else. It's, really it's twenty two. It's only a twenty-two. Uh, yeah. I was trying to get a, You said make whenever you said make a damn good check. I'm like twenty-five. <laughs> it like terrifies you. Me. Okay. Spin it super fast, and you chuck it, and you make sure you're putting all of it out as it, as you make it go, uh, and it sails, and it hits uh, the floor on the other side. It doesn't hit the grate, but it gets far past it. it Clink hits hits, but it's too well. So it hits the top of, of the roof, and then it kind of just falls and lands on the balcony. That's fine. And then I'll go back into the third floor. Okay. I'm gonna pull. And I'm gonna watch, and I want to see if it tightens in, and then. Now I need to make a sleight of hand check. This is like fishing. For grace. Yeah. Oh baby, uh, twenty-four. <laughs> You pull it, uh, and you uh, begin to, uh, and you get it to come a little further, and then you kind of clink, and it's right holding on the edge of the grate on the balcony. And then all of my excess is on that, that desk. I'm going to tighten it as much as I can. Okay. And then retie it. You, you tie it, and it is now a tightrope going all the way to the end. 
All right, who's going first? <laughs> I'll go. I'll go. I'm not gonna do it. I can go after you or first. Doesn't really matter. I feel like you should go last. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Maybe so you can do it over first. under. Yes. <laughs> How are you going yeah. across this thing? It's fine. Um, you're 75 feet up in the air right now. Long you guys know what? What's that fucking movie that they made like five years ago about a guy? The entire movie is just some tightrope walking. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that, that's basically what we're doing right Why now. They do that. If I do, wait, is it, do we have it where it's like slanted down? Yeah, mm -hmm. it's a oh, slanted okay, okay. tightrope. Um, <laughs> it, okay, it's also pissing me off that on a D six, the six doesn't have a line under it, but on a D eight. It does. Because... That's weird. Oh. Because... <laughs> Mine does. Oh, yeah, what? Yeah. Mine does. Yeah. Some of yours do, don't they? <laughs> yeah, a single Wait, one. The oh, yeah, six oh, yeah, all mine do. Yeah. yeah, like, every single one of mine has the line under it. <laughs> Take you all off. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, that's important one. reality. So, uh, <coughs> I have some, some fine clothes on me still from when we went to the opera. Okay. <laughs> You're fine clothing that you stole. I'm gonna take like a shirt and then put it over and then try and uh, go across. <gasps> You're right. like, mm. yeah. Right. But I, can I? Mm, I was gonna say, can I hold my like feet up on the rope as well, so that I'm like holding and then have my feet crossed over the over the top as well. You won't slide. Oh, I won't slide. Okay, mm -hmm. then I'll I'll just keep my feet down. You're gonna have to kind of push yourself out. Uh, I can help with that. Pushing me out. Like yeah, just get you a little momentum. No, I'll just... We'll just do it? I'll, okay. I feel like I'll get thrown off if I get pushed. And, okay. Whoa! Hey, for the first time, an acrobatics check. Roll it. Okay, I was really worried this was going to be... The perfect a... acrobatics. This is, like, be. actually acrobatics. Of all the ways you thought we would get into this building, was this even on the it's list? Not, it's awful. That's eight. Oh, fuck, dude. All right. Seymour, you, you grab on you. And it, it kind of, like... Shh, shh, shh. And you, and you kind of slow into the middle, and the entire rope kind of like kind of bends toward the middle, and you're like now caught in the middle of it because it's like slanting down, and you're just kind of in the middle of the garden. The kids are like their backs are treated, and you're like, oh, Do I see this you're going gonna on? have to like edge yeah. yourself to keep going. Can I? Uh, how far out is he? I I want to try to. He. This is you, Seymour. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> There's a fucking tree in the way. Is that a tree? I thought it was a bush. Uh, the trees, it's it's like right below you, so. Right, juice. How far? He's like, help me out. Pulling 5, 10, 15, 20, 25 feet. Can I, I'm going to use my mage hand and push and then And then Chivas and I will pull on the rope to try slowly to try to straighten it out so that yeah, sure. it becomes you, a slide. You feel a little push on your back and it's just kind of like a... Does, it's just oh, not nearly enough. Like Chan does like, like, <laughs> like somebody just touched you, and you're like, ah! Oh! <laughs> you're gonna be all right. Yeah. Here, uh, the cheapest and I will try to straighten the rope out. All right, make strength checks. Tender rule. Nineteen. Nineteen. Nice. Uh, strength check. Yeah. That would be a twenty-three. You guys pull it out and strengthen it. You actually kind of bounce up for a moment, and you and you kind of bounce along the rope, and you make it to uh, to the balcony. But you have to like grab onto it with your hands because you're not gonna just like land on it like a zip line. Oh, okay. So you ground on the side of it. Um, just make an athletics check to try to get up get up there. Thirteen. Yep. And you pull yourself up and you make it across. All right. You want me to go next? I can. All right. Go. I'm gonna take my uh, my entertainer's clothes because I don't want to ruin my. All right. So how are you getting across there? Oh wait, you're going you're going next. I just he started to explain how I was gonna get across. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Before sorry. that, he said I'm gonna go next. I, I said I said do you, I said do you want me to go next? And I thought you said yes, but I think you said no. I'll go. I said yeah. I said no. Okay. I'll go. Okay. Uh, so you take your entertainer's clothes. You're gonna do the same thing. <laughs> as soon as you put your entertainer's clothes on it, you guys watch as a uh, crow lands on the rope. And just ah, come on! And turns and looks down. Down or up? Looks up towards you guys, as you guys are kind of just all standing in the window. Just, ah! And you watch as you see uh, one of the little kids run over and said, "What's he doing?" And they both run over and they look up at the rope and they're like, "What's that? What's he doing?" No, no, no. 
And they're like, that's a new toy, probably. We should go look at it. And you watch as they both disappear, and you hear a door. Door fast, 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 fast. <laughs> <clears throat> um, Is, gotta get yeah, the I'm, bird off. How secure is it on both ends? I'll shoot the fucking bird. What do you mean how secure? Like it's pretty tight. On both ends, like it's, they tied it. Yeah, yes. it's tied on both ends. Okay. Well, it's, it's not tied on the grapple. It's grappled end. and then tied. Seymour, if you tied. want, the grapple's just sitting there, like, uh, like slowly <laughs> creaking out of its sock. Hey, like, Jacob, it. is there anyone else in this courtyard right now? Nope. The kids are inside. <laughs> you crossbow. You, you crossbow shoot it. Yeah. Roll attack. Jesus. Uh, can you go next and create your thing, and then he and I can get on it and follow you? So we don't all That's three have to idea. go across? How, how big can your floating disc be? And if you fall, you'll be able to, well, your disc will catch you. Or we will. Hey, what'd you get? Uh, oh, sorry. Uh, uh, 14. Um, roll damage. So he has a lot of experience doing this spell. It says it floats three feet off the ground. If I put it above something else, does it float the above rope? that thing or does it drop to the ground? Would it float above the rope because the rope has become the How ground? far does it go off off the ground? Three feet. Ye- or would it go? Yeah, if you go out there, the disc is just going to go whoop and go to the ground. Okay. Uh, that'd be 12 damage, which is my max. You fire the crossbow bullet and it, it slams into the raven as it transforms into the imp again as it, it falls on the ground and dies. All right, then Not I'll... into the tree? Continue with. Oh no! Yeah, yes. goes into the tree. <laughs> <laughs> Those bitches is like. We're just gonna have to go fast. All right, yeah. Uh, I'm, gonna I'm not gonna let the the grappling hook fall. So like you're all. gonna get a tight on the other end. Jacob. Sh- sure. Yeah. Yeah. All right. I'm going. All right. Roll acrobatics. Got this. Uh, not that great. Uh, that is seven. But I'm gonna add my uh, favorite by the gods. To add. Uh, ten. You jump off and you begin to <laughs> and zip line your way down. You guys, I'm assuming, are holding it taut yes. at this point. Uh, ten is enough for you kind of just to zip by, avoid the tree down uh, that's below you and make it to the other side. See more you help her up at the same time. Uh, uh, over here. I'm going across. I want to the door. There's no door. There's no door. It's it's stairway. stairway. Up the stairway, you see running up, two little kids look in and they go, Hi! Hey! Hey, I'm hey, gonna, hey there! She missed you go. Uh, yeah, I'm all the way over there. I know. I, I'm gonna step like. Are you new friends? Way. Yeah, we. Yeah, I am. It's okay, Jimmy. What are you she playing? Goes, and then you run over the window and they look over. I, I'm, right I'm standing the like in the. In the, the, in the, the I'm, trying to, I'm trying to stand like in the in the steps way so that they can't get past me. They've already gotten past oh, okay. me. <laughs> the little girl's like, I like this game. I want to play it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You really want to play? Sure. It? You know what? Let 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 Mr. Chibis here. Let him show you how it's done. Hello, first. Mr. Chibis. Let him show you. How I'm it's like a hundred feet away. What? What? Have I made it? You're like <laughs> about oh, to jump out. Into the they're in ours. <laughs> came I didn't in there. Know that they went to the guest room. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. They're not like hello. <laughs> let Mr. Chibis show us how it's done first, yeah, alright? Hello, Mr. Chibis. Have you ever caught any butterflies before? I caught one! And the little girl holds one up. Uh, I, I, I pull out a segment of my rope and just double knot it around my wrists. And then instead of doing anything else, I'm just going to fully strength. Ooh, me! Ooh, me! Ooh, me! You'll, you'll go, I'm not you'll paying go. To the kid at all. I'll, I'll take, I'll just take you. Grab as hard as I can on the rope and slide down. Aww. Do, they both watch as you just kind of go. If I can make an athletics. acrobatics check. Do you have athletics? All I'm doing <laughs> is holding on. He, he, the rope just is keeping going. He's yeah. just like the mm-hmm. rope is what's the first way. slope. I'm not balancing or anything. If you're going to use athletics, you're going to hoist yourself across. The acrobatics is like using dexterity to ensure that you oh, it's are like dodging, moving like your way down it. If you're going to use athletics, you're going to go <clears throat> and then <clears throat> stop. And then you're going to go <clears throat> and make okay. your way across. Oh, I'll do that. Uh, 20, not natural. <laughs> Chibis is like. <laughs> and like, 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 uh, making his way across by like, like climbing almost. I have both uh, rope looped over it in case mm-hmm. I fall, and I'm just like going with basically. Uh, and he's he's Can going very way? slowly, uh, making his way across. He, he's he's pretty cool, right? I, don't know what's up. I don't want to do that. Yeah, yeah, maybe. What are your names exactly? I don't, I don't remember what what I'm. Track New York. <laughs> Hi, I'm. <laughs> Jacob, I cast sleep on the kids. What's the range on sleep? 90 feet. 
I'm Asmodeus, and this is... <laughs> yeah, you see me, like, trying to, like... I would argue if you could see them, but we'll go ahead and see. They're looking can. out the window. That's true. Um... <laughs> yeah, one of them says, I'm Taryn Zio. And the other one's like, I'm a... You watch as they both fall onto the ground completely asleep. You're like, did I kill them? Yeah, they like unconscious, like, hit the ground in there. I messaged you. That was me. Come on over. Oh, my sister was in 20 foot range. Uh, fucking huh? Ira. There, there were bed, there was a bed in the other, in the other room. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna take the kids to the bed. You take the kids, you put them over in the bed, take an inspiration. <clears throat> and then I'm gonna go. All right, make that acrobatics uh, check. Unlike everyone else, though, who was like, I'm gonna tightrope walk. You're gonna oh fuck! <laughs> die. Roll acrobatics. See, I was gonna try that, but then he gave me acrobatics anyways, and I was like, mm, no. Uh, that would be a twenty-two. <clears throat> Colton rolls twenty-two halfly. Um, <clears throat> you. Yes. Uh, huh? Yes. Uh, you uh, grab up onto the rope. And you hoist yourself up, and you begin to slowly tightrope your way across it, uh, kind of getting a little bit of a rhythm to it and making your way across. You kind of very quickly move over. Flying straight for you is a raven that transforms into an imp and goes, and it has its stinger ready as it flies straight for you. Did you think one of the three people that have yeah. range spells that are watching could do something three. about this? I don't have, I'm gonna let her take care because I don't have anything quiet. Can I, can I, I do can anything when I see it coming at him or no? Yeah, what are you doing? Yeah, I wanna throw a fork shoot at it. Shoot at it with my crossbow. Throw a fork at it, shoot it with the crossbow. <laughs> nice. Uh, 19. 19, okay. That would hit. Uh, 25. All right, we're gonna roll initiative. Three damage. Who goes, well, hang on. Who goes first? Is it just them rolling initiative? Four. Initiative. Did you wanna shoot something? No, too? no, no. Four. What'd you get? Uh, 18. It's flying for you. It comes straight for you when uh, when a crossbow bolt <laughs> hits it in the side of the neck and a fork <laughs> spills into it and it <laughs> hits the ground. <laughs> and you're like, oh, oh, have to hold up your balance again. Make another acrobatics check. Why'd you roll That's into your dice? Oh, oh no! Oh my gosh. That's a 10. You can add your inspiration to it. I'm going to do that. How is that a 10? It's a 3 plus his acrobatics. Sorry, 10 now with the... You begin, you kind of lose your balance a bit, and you uh, you actually kind of have to get down, your foot comes off, and you get down on one knee with it, the rope around like your, your armpit. That's fine. And you're like, and you kind of have to slowly pull your way over as the last raven is making his way over towards Ira Should again. again. <clears throat> I'm going to do another... Initiative check here. Yeah. Let's see who hits it first. Seven. Seven? Yeah, I'll check my butcher's knife at it. Uh, 13. All right, you're first. Make okay. it count. Natural one. Oh, yeah, there's only a rope. Oh, my God. You chuck <laughs> the butcher's knife and it <laughs> lands in the rope, and the rope now begins to slowly fray. Uh, can I add my own initiative into this counter now? Yeah. Let me get one. Uh, oh my fucking god. Five. The, the raven goes right past you and completely misses. Alright. How, how far across am I? Uh, you're 20 feet away. You got a 15 feet on my initiative. Uh, where is the butcher doing? knife rope in comparison to where I am? 10 feet. So right in the middle. Alright, I'm just gonna try to like kind of get a little bit of balance. I'm just gonna kind of like push myself and try to grab the rope on the other side because I, I think it's gonna snap. Make another I'm acrobatics check. Grab it and just kind of swing the rest of the way. Make another acrobatics check. I'm basically just getting ready to catch him if, he, if I feel like he's not gonna make it. Okay. Fuck! Eight. <clears throat> you jump forward and you grab onto the rope um, as it does snap. You let go of it, however, and you kind of fall onto the ground. You don't take any damage. But you land right in the arms of a child. Here, <laughs> the stairway that leads up to your friends who are right there. Oh, that's where we're at. Okay. Oh, this, well, okay, this is the stairway the whole time. Yeah, fucking Jesus. Yes. He did say that. It'd I remember a lot that. Easier. Yeah. It you stand up and you're like, easy. oh, and, and you just walk up the stairs. He also said that before we knew that they were kids. Yeah. Okay. They were bugs. Well, before you we started, started assuming that they were kids. Hey, that's cool though. Yeah. So. It was pretty great. 
Our intention was to do all of that without attracting the ravens, uh, which failed horribly. Broad daylight. <laughs> I mean, it's fine. Mm -hmm. Literally, any people outside of the villa are like, "Look at that type of water." Whoa! Yeah. <laughs> no, they didn't, nobody on the outside of the villa saw you. All right, cool. Um, I, I will join them. Okay. That raven that missed you uh, comes right back over, and he's going to come straight for oh, you guys. I'm going to fucking punch uh, him in the jaw. Him. Uh, oh, wait, no, it's instant. Just to make it simple, you all... Uh, roll, roll attack, roll attack. See if you punch him in the jaw. Fail. Oh, cool. Uh, that's a 10. Oh! oh you hit it and smacked it in the face, and it turns into an imp. And it's like... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Jeebus just smacks the fucking imp, and he's down. All right, you guys are on the balcony. Where are you headed? Safe measures. <laughs> Snap it, it's, it's like already super dead. It's just, oh god. You gotta double tap just to make sure. Yeah. You know how imps are. Um, Tricky. If we're on the balcony, we're probably just checking to make sure there's no one inside, inside where we're going to be going. Um, Inside where you're going to be going? Make a perception check. I got natural 20. <gasps> natural 20. You. Natural I got 20. a. 11. 12. <laughs> you do not hear anybody. Yep. You don't hear anybody in the next room. That was a great natural 20 roll. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you, you are very certain that there's yeah. nobody in that next room. You saw. Lady Castellanter go inside, but she's not there. Anymore. Which room specifically? Uh, no, I guess I can't see it. Eight. Oh, that's not centered, is it? That might be why. It is. There is a door right next to the stairs, and then another one that heads into the turret. Okay, so this is where we're actually at. Yeah, that's where the balcony is. So there's a door that heads into the turret right there, and then there's one that's right next to the stairway. What story are we on? The second story. Oh. Okay. Uh, which and which one was I sure that she's not in, or that anyone is in? Uh, she's not in either either doorway. Okay. Well, mm, actually. The balcony. Remember natural twenty. I know. I'm gonna tell you right now. Do you guys care if I turn that on? It's gonna hot. Oh, it's gonna screw us up. No, it's not. It's gonna throw us off our tempo, man. I'll just sweat. No, um, you're throwing them off. It's real. Now we're all sweating. We're in a tense scene and you're in a I'm sweater. On a horse. <laughs> you're on a horse? <laughs> an old spice joke. There is uh, nobody in either room. Can we turn this on? No. Now we're all sweating. Sorry. I'm on a horse. <laughs> <laughs> There's nobody in either room. In either room? Okay. Mm -hmm. Where would I hide? What do I have? Just a where would someone put me? D10s. Oh, these people are pretty clever. Incredibly. She was you're the most clever out of all of us. Where would you hide the stone of lore? In my anal cavity. You're the you're the most clever now. Where would you hide it? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Wait. Basement? But oh, that's what I was thinking too. Alright. We need to make our way to the basement, is what we're thinking. If there's a basement. There is always if there's an not, anal if there's not, it could always be in the castle uh, lantern's room. room. What? Mm -hmm. There's always be in that cabin. Cabin. It's the most obvious, hey, though. Jacob, yeah, yeah. could yeah. I roll yeah. intelligence I'll with my that. knowledge of where rich people put their prized valuables and deduce about where I think the stone would be put? It could be like a bedroom. Mm -hmm. uh, Wisdom check. It could be like a bedroom, a... a, a I'll let you get away with inside. Cool. It was, uh, uh, 18. Yeah, I probably have 12 deep though. There's just one... In the floor, chuck. since we've chucked hey, What them. was that? 18. 18. To try to do, like, would it be a basement? Would it be a bedroom? Would it be, like, where would be the most likely place for a rich person? It would be reasonable that they would put it in their office. Or a vault. An office. Or a vault if they have it. Okay. That makes sense. So, yeah, I mean, b basement works. Also, bedroom, if they have an office. Uh, they, these people are pretty rich. They, they likely Probably have a vault have of some sort. All three of those things, yes. yes. Let's head into the turret then. It's likely they would not take it away from their person. If they have it, it's valuable, they keep it. Or in a well, vault. I, I, I highly doubt she, that either the castellanters, any of the castellanters have it on them. 
you make your way over into the the turret. Mm -hmm. and as you make your way into the turret, it's actually not a turret yet. It's uh just it's a part of the shape of the building. As you make your way inside, it just opens up to a larger room. So now this is not accurate, correct? Um, not, no, not unfortunately, accurate. I didn't draw this part of the map, I'm sorry. Right. Um, okay. <clears throat> I just wanted to make sure that I, I didn't look it's at that thing. It's not that. very difficult, though. Okay. Um, you are now in a ballroom. Uh, it has a few <laughs> things in it. There's a polished marble floor. It's a dazzling mosaic that depicts a silver chalice with the image of a golden sun on its outside. Um... Everybody <coughs> make a religion check. Ooh. Yeah. Everybody roll for it. It's P1. What'd you get? One. Five, <laughs> You're like, that's not a god. You you think Mallory taught, taught our religion? Seven. Okay, you don't know? Fourteen. You do? Nine. Ari, you are aware that this is the holy symbol of Samorph, demigod of nobility. Demigod of nobility. There are gilded mirrors demigod. and handsome tapestries that festoon the walls. Along the west wall, windows with crimson drapes stretch from floor to ceiling. In the center stands an eerie, human-sized, wood and cloth mannequin with a painted face. It is dressed like a ballroom dancer. Creepy. It's fucking weird. It's who mom and dad named me for. Seymour? Mm-hmm. <laughs> and, it's, and it's standing there, and it's just like this. Because I am noble. Want to be noble? Yeah, a statue. It is a ballroom. Uh, under different circumstances, I'd ask if you like In this dance. room, uh, there is a <coughs> door that leads a, what you can tell into the other room that you could have gone into. And then there's a stairway down, a stairway up, another room, and then another room in the back through a hallway. I would assume that the, their room's probably on the top. Yeah. So, <laughs> for reference, like there's like a room back here, there's, an, there's a doored room on the side over there, and then the stairway up, can stairway I, down. Can I, um... And then another room right here. Can I pull out like some ink and like draw like a really weird mustache on my Yeah, you can go over to it and you can begin to draw a mustache on it. Okay. And I'm gonna put like a little X on his face like a man. Alright, and you hmm? they're gonna definitely know we're here if you do that. It's too late now. Yeah, it's already dried. Micah. Maybe oh, wait, wait, no, 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 it's okay. It's okay. Yeah, just you can take it off. Pass the digitation. To remove the mark. I actually learned that it's prestidigitation, which is why uh, it's prestidigitation? Prestidigitation. Prestidigitation. All right. Screw saying that spell. The yes. face on it becomes completely blank. Uh, it, where it once was a painted face on it is now gone. That's not as, that's bad. <laughs> Can I try to repaint it? Do you have paint? I don't think it lasts forever. Guys, okay, it's no, done. It does. No, it's done. Let's just go. Duration one hour. Maybe they won't notice. Yeah. Maybe they'll be like, mm, not cleaning. For the the effects that uh, are instantaneous. Yeah, I instantaneously clean. I I'm going to rule it that uh, yeah, you yeah. don't keep it clean for an hour. It doesn't yeah, come stupid. back. Hmm. We've, we've talked about this before. Yeah, for sure. I just um, I didn't know that was one of the. Do you have paint? No, I think I only have ink. <laughs> but it's it's really? I, I have ah! a question. Can I recast prestigitation? Under the concept of making a symbol appear on an object of surface for an hour, just for the purposes of them not knowing that we're here, what kind of symbol? Here, I will recreate his, his face. face. You can't make his <laughs> face the symbol. Faces, you make faces a are symbol. You can make like like a smiley no. face symbol, well, and it's just it's gonna be like two black dots and a smile. <laughs> it says a color, a small marker, a symbol. So. I guess yeah. it you could make like you could make yeah. a smiley face in like white. You could do minor illusion. That would probably. Is it concentration? Nope. So yeah, <laughs> there's a there's a little smiley face on it now. It doesn't look like what it was previously. And you put the X on it. <clears throat> All right, good enough. I guess okay, let's just go. too much time wasted on that. Let's go. Yeah. Where are you headed? Upstairs. Upstairs. Quietly. Head up to the a, third floor. Um, go ahead and roll stuff. We gonna stand All the boys. All the three. Yeah, everybody. Seventeen. Ten. Yes. Why? Jacob. Yep. I got a natural twenty. Hey man, nice. You were super freaking quiet. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I got a natural one. Nice. Are you really? Yes. More than that. You like crouch down, yeah. and you're like, yes, time to be stealthy. And he bumps into you and falls back. So, 
I feel like I figured out your thing, Logan. You only character. roll good when it doesn't matter? No, 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 no. no. Not when it doesn't matter. Your characters are mm -hmm. unintentionally the best at the things that you don't make them to be good at. <laughs> Sure. You guys make your way up the stairs. Uh, the stairs turn um, to <coughs> your right and then go into a small hallway. Um, and the hallway ends in a in a in a window and a way to go a door left and right. Can I go up to the left door and put my ear to it to see if I can hear anyone? Yep. Make a perception check. Someone should do the same with the right. I will do that. Um, perception nineteen. <laughs> Eleven. Yes. Uh, 11 and 1? Uh, 19. 19? Um, you do hear footsteps in the next room. One person. Okay. One person? Okay. You um, hear um, other footsteps in the other room of one person. They're not heavy footsteps. They're not like clang, clang, clang. They're just like... Uh, uh. One person. Mm, is there a way for me to like peek under the door? Uh, you peek under the door... You see the person moving around, and then they mm, sit in a chair. Sit in a chair. Look at this. Look at this. Can you see the person? What do they look like? I don't know. You really shouldn't be whispering their legs. Can, can, you, can you identify the shoes or something? Can I look at their shoes? No, it's not, <laughs> it's not that big of a crack. Okay. Is there a keyhole? Uh, yeah, but it's covered. You can't just peek through it. I can always go in and charm if it fail if they see me. Do you know is 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 the is the chair facing the door or away from the door? I think it's away from. They're facing away from us, right? The person who sat. No, the lady's now. Uh, the the person is now sitting and facing towards the door. They're towards the door. Is this like, is this the only door that we have to go through? No, there's also go, like, yeah, the stairs go up, and there's it's a tiny hallway with one way to go, one, two, two doorways. My my way also has a person. I don't know anything about them though. Can I try to look under the door for whoever's in there? Yeah. Mhm. Mm you look in there and. Uh, You, the person standing, and you can hear cling. They're an alcoholic. Jacob, I want to uh, transform into the little boy. Ooh, the, the little boy? Yeah. The... Okay, you turn into the little boy. Mm -hmm. Can you turn into somebody smaller than you? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can. Yeah, just... <laughs> you shrink down and you turn into. Um, uh, the little boy. Okay, I put on my fine clothes, including the one that I rode over on. Oh yeah, your clothes now like all oh, outgrown you. Yeah. Um, uh, these ones are probably super baggy, so I'm gonna have to still like. Tie all right, them around you're me. wearing baggy fine clothes. Mm -hmm. All right. Do you want me to go in there? And pretend. <clears throat> Assume we're, we're whispering. Uh, mm -hmm. Should I go in there and how pretend? You, how are you going to explain the clothing change? Um. I'll say... You found them in the garbage. That's exactly what I was going to say. You found them in the garbage. I could do the same. I have my dress. Amongst the yeah, blueberries. Our, yeah, but it'd be like the family's garbage, you know? That's why... Because you don't normally just find clothes like this okay. in the garbage. Uh, you want to do the little girl? I can. If, if, it, if it fails, I, I, I can always charm the person. I'll just put them to sleep if everything goes wrong. Anything goes I'm going to okay. do the same thing, but I'm going to put but be ready the to charm little girl too. and put on mine. All right, you guys are wearing baggy, oversized that clothes. You're two little dress. children, and like some some heels. So okay. Wait, wait. wait. You, you guys found them in the garbage, right? Yes. So Make I'm... them dirty. Yep. <laughs> you guys oh, smell nasty. All right. Ready? Okay. Which door? Um, which one do you think would be better? Let's go into the one that I would looked into. Okay. Okay. All right, uh, Chivas, you want to go down the steps a few? Yes, what for? Just, just so when they open the door, they don't see us. 
Yes. Cool. So we'll, we'll step down the steps a little bit. All right. You, you know what they're doing, eh? Okay. okay cool. You guys open the door? That way, when they open the door and walk in, we won't right. see. You open the door, the you see a tiefling woman, elegant, a bit aging, but very beautiful. Long black gown. She's got a glass of wine. She's sitting on a couch right next to a wine bar. This mo- this room is like a it's a uh, this is like a sitting room. There's chairs and couches and a wine bar. It's just like rest. Uh, and she's sitting in here and she's kind of sipping away. And she looks over and she says, "Darlings, what are you two doing in here?" We wanted to come play. You're not supposed to be playing in here. Why don't you go find This is like a, a pantry or a kitchen or something? Uh or is it just a room and it's brought? like it's like a green room. A green room? Mm-hmm. Um why don't you go find Madame Chapoga? She's in the next room with your toys and go play in there. Yay! Okay. Right, we'll, we'll turn around. And she like gives like a really confused look. She's like, mm-hmm. she goes back to her wine. Uh, close you, the door. Behind you us. close the door. <clears throat> the next room. Mm-hmm. Okay. You open the door. Um, you see another uh, tiefling woman. Uh, ah, tiefling women. <laughs> well, that's <laughs> racist. Okay. I'm just okay, I gave you the I gave you the wrong fucking name. Oh. Uh, she would have said, "Go find Nana," and then you okay. turn around and you go to the next room. You see a, um, you see another uh, tiefling woman. Um, she's wearing flowing red robes. She has like this dark uh, black skin, this horns that kind of come out of the front, and kind of like a grayish hair. And she's sitting, she's knitting, and she looks up at you two, and she says, oh, "Darlings, what are you doing? I thought you were outside." We were outside. And now I'm here. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> I'm gonna. They, she said that there were toys in here, right? Mm-hmm. I'm There's just toys start all over the floor. Going around and like picking stuff up. You start like, picking up toys. She's like, "What them. are you two wearing? That is not what I put you in this morning." She walks over. She says, "These are filthy. You are going to take the these garbage. off immediately. Stand up. No toys until you change your clothes." I'm gonna try and run away if I can. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna like throw off it. Terenzio, stop. I stop. You stop. How big is this room, by the way? Um, it is. Not very big. And it's are you a, like it's on a the small ground? square room? Yeah, I like sit 20 by 20. like mad. 20 by 20. 20 by 20? Okay. <laughs> is, it, is this the room that you looked into? Mm-hmm. Ailes Arena, stand up. You don't stand behave up. this way. I stand up. <clears throat> she is there walks a balcony? Over, she walks over to you. Okay. Um, there is not a balcony. Oh, okay. Um, this is like on the edge. She goes down and she says, Where did you find this? In the trash. Why did you put this on? It was comfy. Where are your clothes? In the trash. (laughs) You put your clothes in the trash. I had to wear these ones. Come. She grabs your arms. She grabs your arm. And she starts walking out the door. And she opens the door. And she turns down the stairway. If that happens. She sees you (laughs) two. Charm person. (laughs) She's like, oh, oh." and she sees you. You cast charm person. I was really busy making Shrek. She's got an 18, dude. Oh, my God. She's getting them to sleep. I was... (laughs) I never got the chance. <laughs> Do it now. Who are you? Cover her mouth. You run up the stairs and make a grapple check. Do I still have like all my normal stats and everything in this form? I'm assuming so. It's never changed yes. this before. Okay. Uh, can I like climb up and cover her mouth? Just like. Just like. <laughs> yeah, make a grapple. Both of you make world grapple at advantage. Okay. I'm gonna try to I grab her legs. I can just start beating the shit out of people with a flying pot. You <laughs> well, shouldn't pot. Right, murder man. people. That's a. Knock them out. Uh, I can use that. Uh, that's a 14. 14? Uh, strength, right? Yep. Uh, oh, that's... no, I'm sorry. I can't use acrobatics to do the grapple. I can do it to escape. And that's an 11. Okay. 16. Okay. Do I, oh, do I have to roll yeah. the grapple? No, I try to grab What do I roll? Athletics. Ooh, I'm a strong baby. <laughs> uh, 18. You grab her legs, you grab them and cover her mouth, you're like a little, you're like on her back like a monkey, and you run over, and you, what do you grab? I was gonna do her mouth, but yeah. you kind of like uh, you roll low, and you're like, oh, There's and the like... kids are older, so. <laughs> <laughs> Cooking pot. Don't kill her. Gotta knock her unconscious. Uh, easy enough. You walk over, boom, you hit the back of her head. She topples onto the ground. You hear, what the hell sleep, is? Sleep. I'm just cat. I'm catching. <laughs> 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 
this lady is gonna start beating the, the, the wine glass falls and shatters and the wine just goes everywhere and she <laughs> hits the ground. Put her back up in the get room. Get her, get her in the <laughs> oh, <good. laughs> I, I, I turn into the, that lady. You turn into the lady and you're wearing Noble's clothing. Get, get, I'll turn into Nana. In Alright, you turn into Nana. In I'll turn into You said she's just wearing like a robe, right? Uh, yeah, red robes. They're very oh, elegant looking. Just, 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 just take their clothes. Yes. It doesn't matter. Like you lady. strip them yeah. and <laughs> take put, their clothes. I'm gonna put up like a blanket over them. And I'm, I'm not. I'm gonna press the digit. <laughs> Alright, you take both of them. Alright. Put them on the bed. Bedrooms. I'm gonna press the digitation to clean up the wine mess. Uh, you got the kids' toys room next to you, and you got the, the like the green room with the couches and the chairs. Just let them on the couch. Probably the green room. All right, you go on the, the kids' green room. Could... You put them on the couch. <laughs> They're just in their undergarments, and you just lay them down. And I throw uh, like a blanket over you them. Throw, yeah. You throw a blanket over them. a wine bar. Mm. I'll press the digitation to clean up Soup? the glass. Chibis, you're a cook. You're. Is that? Oh my gosh! Is that the? Uh, they have the, like uh, truffle wine here? Huh? They have truffle wine here? Yeah. They've got like four different brands. They're, these are like incredibly expensive top shelf. You're like, you can't buy this one anywhere. And it's like halfway Jesus. gone. You can't. Jesus, it's time to go. Jesus, how many pockets do you have in there? <laughs> <laughs> Christ. He's got like a an apron on, so he's just putting them in. Oh, okay. You're just going to be like clang, 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 clang. I have a backpack too. I mean, okay. I can wrap them. Um. Heather's your inventory. They weigh five pounds each. Okay. Are there any more like uh, wine glasses in here? Uh -huh. There's about four or five. They're kind of hanging on the underneath of the bar. Okay, I take one and I. Is there wine that I can pour? <clears throat> just like any, yeah. any kind of wine. I don't know. You pour wine into it. All right. I just carry that. All right. Um, I don't have mending, so I can't clean up the glass, but I can get rid of the shards. Press digitation. In an hour, they come back. That's there's like two. We need there's clean. A, we need oh, clean. yeah. There's about two or three big shards left, but all the tiny ones are gone. I'll pick up the big, the big shards. Right. Toss them out the window. Is there like a trash can equivalent? Yeah. There's a there's a little garbage bin. You throw them in there. Smooth, guys. Smooth. <laughs> you knocked out two ladies. Do you remember what you told us? That you you told us in the past about when we played D&D &D how we can, we never plan well. But yep, I know. when it, when we have to improvise, we <laughs> always figure it out. We always <laughs> knock right. How can we knock out these two ladies right now? <laughs> All right, yeah. Two babies. Uh, uh, there like is a door in the kids' toy room. Oh, I'll. Is there not a, is not a door in the other one? In the green room, no. Okay. Oh, yes, there is. Oh. Yes, there is. I'm sorry. Is there, there's a door in each one. I'm gonna go to the one in the kids' toy room and open it. Okay, I just realized you guys right. walked into the wine room first. I thought she was like, "You guys aren't supposed to be in here." Yeah, <laughs> like your toy room's on the other side. Um, all right. <laughs> Would have been hilarious if we just started talking in like super deep voices. <laughs> this oh, is yeah. the shut up, woman. <laughs> this is the. Wait, my mom. <laughs> <laughs> Darlings, what are you doing? Shut the fuck up, bitch. <laughs> we out here playing and shit. <laughs> Give me some wine. How about you pull me some goddamn red? <laughs> All right, uh, you uh, walk into the, it's a, the twin bedroom. There are two, four poster beds that take up the bulk of this room. Um, and Apparently, I thought one looked older than the other. Their toys are returning their boxes, and there is a life-size stuffed unicorn sitting in one corner of the room. Shit, Witcher 3, what are you doing here? <laughs> uh, that's yeah, the kids' room, not be a kid's room. It's the kids' room, <laughs> what, What's in the back? Uh, a, a, a big stuffed old unicorn. stuffed unicorn. The parents are just that messed up. This is what you're going to see. You'll understand when you're older. <laughs> what, what's weird? There's in Witcher 3, Witcher they three, have Jennifer sex on and, and Geralt use a unicorn as a, as a sex bed. That's but if those are the parents, of it, you're... <laughs> Jennifer and Geralt are actually Mr. and Mrs. Castellander? Yes. <laughs> you know, it's... Probably like a like a like a life size statue, but I like the idea that it's so a big, it's just a stuffed animal. big plush. Yeah, so it's this massive like plush of a yeah. of a unicorn that's like on the floor. Oh, that's cute. And it's got like a horn. Oh. <clears throat> that was in a show. I forget. Huh? Oh no no no! I was, it was reminding me of uh, the Lego Movie. Do yeah, you go into the other room that leads into the? Wow, the green room has two other doors. I'm I'm fucking stupid. All right, um, go back that way. All right, on the first yeah, room, in the, the green room, room. Uh, you find a... It's going to like steal the mattress or something. St steal their... Uh, their we, we just walk mattress. out with the big old stuffed <laughs> unicorn and be like, God, we came for it. <laughs> 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 but I want 
What if the stuffed unicorn, what if the soda galore is inside the unicorn? Uh, Turn it open. This that room really is smart. a closet. So it's a, it's a, like a walk-in closet. Um, and the there's folded table. bed sheets, um, assorted linens, and... Um, there's like a laundry room? Yeah, sorry. Yeah, yeah that's, that's, that's what it's seems like. And what? Where they store the linens or a laundry room? Yeah, linens and other clothing. You notice... There's a stain. In the back... Um, make a perception check. All right. Uh, 11. In the back, shoved, there's the linens. There's a, you see a gold shimmer, a box up above. As soon as you look up, you dart to the side because on the side of the room, as you step in, one of, uh, two of the, um, the, the linens begin to, no, and they, they explode outwards, and they whoop, begin to wrap around you. Roll initiative. And we're following behind, I imagine. Yep. Yeah. Let me, uh... Hey! Draw out this room for you guys. Oh, uh, do we do yeah. naturals with initiative? Or are we... Uh, we don't have to. It's going to be really cramped. It's not going to work. No naturals. You just add your modifier if you get a natural 1 or 20. So you get a, what, 18? Okay. Negative 2? Zero. Oh. I thought I was going last, but apparently not. Yeah, that's my five. title. Can you guys see how red my face is? Yeah, yeah, a little bit. This is an indicator on, I would like to turn the fan on. Turn it on then. Cool, thanks. You want to come feel how cold my hands are? I know computer? how cold they are. Let's just all hold hands. Sure, Let's just all hold hands. And we pray that we don't <laughs> die. <laughs> Dear and Jesus. All God's children said, ah, <laughs> <laughs> Well, that's going to be terrible for the recording. Two rocks. What? Oh, yeah, that's going to suck ass and dick. <laughs> oh, shut up, it's fine. Okay. Is the AC on? <laughs> <laughs> Logan doesn't have that here. That's impressive. <laughs> oh, well, it's going to suck ass, ass and dick at yeah. the same time. Oh, at the I've same been time. saying that so much recently, I don't know yeah. why. No, you say ass balls and dick sometimes. So it's it's ass balls and dick, dick. yeah. Wow. That's, that's what I've been my, saying recently. Me and my friends were used to just say, lick my taint. I kind of missed that one. My taint. 25 to 20. Nope. Zero up in those numbers. These are kind of itchy. Yeah. Hmm. They, you get Come used on. to them. I can't do it now. Are you trying 20 to, to 15? Yeah. What did you get, Chief? Yeah, take off zero. Uh, <laughs> Don't do it. 20 to 15. No. Oh, oh my gosh. Guys. 15 to 10? No. Uh, 10. <laughs> Seymour. You're first, bud. Yeah, I know, but I have a good deck. So. Ten to five? Eight. Five. <laughs> this may be the worst round of initiative we've had in a long yeah, time. Yeah, and I'm going to be choked to death by ten, a... Ten, eight, five, zero. By a, a cheat. <laughs> oh, yeah, these are... I know. They, they do, like, eventually you just stop filling it, but... Yeah. All right, top of the round. Rug number one with a 20 initiative goes first. Uh, yeah, right after that, it's 10 at Seymour. Uh, <clears throat> the uh, the linen uh, goes over and begins to smother you. Do I get a Whoa. save? Or? It's like a rug of smothers. Um, it's going to attack you. Uh, does a 10 hit? Up. No. It it's going to have advantage because you didn't know it was it was there. Does a, 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 a 20 hit? No. Mm -hmm. Party, some kind of... The the linen jumps off the shelf and <laughs> grabs around your face, and you're like trying to pull it off as it just begins to smother you. Um, you are restrained and blinded. Wow. Mm -hmm. um, oh, yes. And you are at risk of suffocating. Ah, yes. My favorite thing, suffocating. You take 12 bludgeoning damage. Oh. <laughs> you just take them off? Yeah. That's Seymour. why they have their fingerless. <laughs> What are you doing? Um, what are you talking about? I put his gloves on. And then she took it off in order to mess with the thing, even though they had their fingerless tips. Yeah, so but my so fingers are cold. Uh, uh, mm. uh, to create bonfire, it fills a five by five foot cube. So the fire is bigger than me. It just when I cast that spell. It creates a fire that's bigger than yeah. me. Bonfire is dope. Okay. Sorry. Okay, oh, I grab my pistol yeah. and I aim it at her head because it's over her face, right? Okay, yep. Yes, her head is over. 
you aim at your sister and you're like, hmm. Wait, that's a bad idea. <laughs> um, I'll shoot through weird, this rock. Right. That's a weird statement. But it'll, it'll be dead. Is your head over and your so face? Will I. So. No, your head's under your face. It's behind. Hmm? Is there just one of them? You can see another one beginning to animate, and it's about two ten. Okay, is the one that's on her like completely wrapped around? It's completely wrapped around like perfectly. She's like, ah, like trying to pull it off. Kill, kill the second one. I'll help her with the first one. Uh, sure. Why not? Man, I don't Four think this is gonna do anything hmm? to it. But yeah. uh, I'm gonna go for the second one, and shock that's and right. grasp it. Okay, you go over and you grab it. <laughs> and then we begin to throw. Huh. Doesn't hit. Does what a nine it? hit? No. Yeah. I you thought. go over and it actually dodges as you try to grab, and you're like, "Uh oh!" As it kind of, kind of curves through the air. Um, Ira. Um, I'm going to go over to the rug that's on her. Okay. And so I don't know how these rugs work. Um, does she have to make a check to try to break free? Do you want to try to pull it off? I don't want to try to pull it off. I want to try to use the help action to give her an advantage to pull it off. You can help her and that will give her advantage. So you're standing there and you're like, Ari, Ari, face me, face me. I'll grab the back, you grab the front. I, I, I don't <laughs> even say face me. How far down her body does this right go? Uh, down to like her, her shoulders. I grab like her, her elbows and turn her to me and then grab the top of it. And I'm like, get ready to pull. Okay. Uh, all right. Uh, rug two <laughs> goes straight for you. Good luck. See more, that's an 18. Misses. Really? No. Wait, you have my drum run. Uh, yeah, it's only a 16, though. It wraps around your neck, and you're like, <laughs> and it actually gathers your hands and rips up into your face as, it, as it's just, like, pulling around your entire body. You're like, <clears throat> and you can barely breathe. Um, it doesn't do that much damage, though. It does eight bludgeoning damage. All right. Um, Ari. I try to pull it off. Make a escape check. What's this? Just add it. Because it's with help. Acrobatics or oh, athletics? Oh, yeah, I forgot that, uh... Wait, I do have a sense. Yeah. Um, after that, and then 15. You, with the help of IR, just, and you pull the entire thing off as it, as it kind of like whips out, like a, like a, um, a, like linen does, and then it kind of begins to roll up. You're like, oh, and you let go of it as it begins to kind of float and toss in the air. You're right. Chivas. Um, the one that they just pulled off. I'm gonna mm -hmm. create a bonfire on. Does the bonfire <laughs> have to go on the ground? Um, you create a bonfire on the ground, yeah, that it fills a five foot area. It's not on the ground. Oh yeah, it is. It, it would fall to the ground, so yeah. Uh, make okay. a dex save. Is uh, it at the start of its turn, or is it as soon as you make it? Uh, as soon as you make it. Alright. You point at the ground and then a bonfire appears there, and it just kind of like floats up because of the heat rising yeah. off of it, but it's starting to burn. It needs to make what? Dex save. A 15. That beats it. Action. Kind of moves out of the way. Okay. Nothing happens. Okay. It's a cantrip, huh? Yeah, and then as a bonus action, I'll summon my ladle too. <laughs> That rug dodges out of the out of the fire, and it goes, and it goes for um, Ira. Uh, unsettling vision, visage. Uh, it's, it's not attacking you. It's taking. I think it's to anyone. Double check. For the first time on a turn. Um, oh no, it's ending its turn. It's oh no, good. it's not only on me. I thought it was for any attack. Okay. Um, it gets a sixteen to hit you, Ira. Shield. You hold up a shield, and it just kind of bounces off of it. Um, <clears throat> Seymour. Um, is the only thing I can do trying to get out of it, or yeah. because it's it, I have my hands like that, can I like shock and grasp it? Uh, sure. Okay. Sure. You can <laughs> do your taser spell right next to your face. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, roll attack. <laughs> as long as I think I can get a grasp on it. Actually, you don't have to roll attack. Okay. <laughs> Just roll damage. All right. Cool. One damage. One damage? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it, you just try to get a little bit of a spark out and you do one damage to it. Lightning damage. Hell yeah. Ooh, yeah. It's very puffy now. Mm -hmm. and oh man, they're gonna try to spin you? on the bed. Uh, okay. Okay. Sticking to it. Pat that thing down. The one that uh, the one that tried to attack me is within five feet of Ari as well. <laughs> cool, I will flank it. And then pull out my short sword and my dagger. Okay. Uh, 
Dirty 20 and 22. Yeah, both hit. Cool, so that'd be a d6 plus a d4 plus sneak attack. Eh, let's check the time. Okay. Uh, 10, 15, 19. I don't get it for my second one. Uh, so, 22 damage. Uh, you, wow! You uh, you take out your daggers and you you hear the tearing of of, of cloth and linen as you just shred well, this a thing. Short sword and a dagger. Yeah, and you just begin to shred this thing. You cut two holes into it as it tries to stay aloft. Um, the one rug that's on you continues to suffocate you. You take oh, another nine bludgeoning damage. Uh, Ari. I'm gonna try to get that one off of him. Roll athletics. Good idea. Um, athletic ten. You grab on it and you're uh, trying to pull it off, but it's stuck on there. <clears throat> can can that aid him in his next attempt to pull it off? No, because what it is is you didn't really like time it with him. You just ran over and tried to pull it off, and you couldn't do it. Okay. <clears throat> do help back there. Uh, cheese. Uh, so where are they now, both of them? There's one just kind of fluttering, okay. staying aloft, so just one, barely. The one that's fluttering, I'm going to multi-attack. And one's on his face, choking. Okay. Uh, the fire keeps going in its place, but it doesn't matter at all. I just haven't discovered <coughs> yet, I think. Uh, yep. So, I'm using cooking pot and ladle. Uh, both of up 20. Nice. Bang. Yep, nice. roll damage on both. Eighteen uh, blood, uh, bludgeoning damage. Uh, you run over to this thing and you take out your ladle and you swing for it and it wraps okay. around the ladle and you take the the pan and you <laughs> kind of pop hit just it and then between. it it just falls into the ground completely lifeless goes into the bonfire and burns away. Nice. <clears throat> um, uh, that was dead. Seymour. Uh, all right. This is one still on my face. Yeah. Okay. Uh, shock and grasp again. Roll damage. One damage. Oh my god. Dude, you're awesome. You just keep doing little taser oh taser <laughs> fights and <laughs> straight to it. Um <clears throat> Ira. I'm not a good spell. Right, see, uh, nope, not Seymour. No, Seymour. I think I told you that was my Seymour. name. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh Seymour, we're gonna we're gonna get you out of there hopefully, and I'm gonna go over it and I'll grab the bottom of it, or I'll grab the top of it. Mm-hmm. I'll say grab grab the bottom. Okay. All right. <clears throat> And then, so, uh, as soon as she grabs the bottom, we'll both pull. So I'm going to help Ari try to pull the rug fucking off the face floor. Okay. Uh, the rug goes again. I thought I went after him. No, you're, it's Ira, rug, number two, Ari, Chivas. Uh, does, an, uh, does 10 blood and damage. Huh? One of the runs is dead. Oh, to me? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, I know, but. Uh, then, uh, Ari. You want to try and pull it off? Yes. You have advantage. Athletics. Uh, 18. You're like, uh, uh, and then it is ripped off by these two. Uh, Ari just pulls the thing off as it just begins to float in the air. She was. Uh, I'm going to. You're right. Pull out a flask yeah. of oil and chuck Let's it out. Let's take it out. It's supposed to break. You're it's, gonna, a it's cloth. Yeah, it's a really shitty cheap file. It's still, let's go get a blanket, and you chuck something at it and try to break it. <laughs> okay. Uh, then I will. You can, I'll let, I'll let you uncork it and, like, chuck it on it like that. Sure. And then I'll control flames and push the flame over. Make an attack roll to try to aim this water, to, uh, this oil to get on it. Uh, that is 16? Yeah, that hits. All right, you okay. get a bunch of oil on it. And then command the flames over to it. <laughs> uh, how much uh, damage does that do? Uh, it takes five. Five right. damage. And this is, I guess, the first turn that that thing is in the fire, so it does have to make a dex save. Uh, on its first turn, so on its next turn, uh, right? No, whenever... Is it a bonus action to move it? Uh, it's I'm casting a Control Flames, which is a different spell. Oh, oh okay. 
Mm, is that an action to cast control flames? Yeah. Uh, I would say that's trying to do two actions in a turn. Do you have extra attack? Uh, extra attack. He does. You do? No, he wouldn't. No, he wouldn't. I'm sorry. Uh, okay. yeah, uh, we think we're higher level than we actually are. Well, it's because he made two attacks last turn. It's because he was yeah. dual wielding. No, nah, then I'll just coat it in oil. All right, you coat the whole thing in oil. You push it it's over completely the drenched. You uh, tell me to push it over to the yeah. fire. Okay. See more. Try to push a sheet over <laughs> to the fire. You can't really push it. Yeah, that's what I thought. Uh, you try to grab it and move it over to the fire. Do I Sounds think if I did shock and grass, that it could it? potentially light oil on fire? No. Okay. Do you have anything fire-based? I have a pistol. Oh, that's very loud. <laughs> Do I need to I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna stab it with my dagger. Roll attack. <laughs> Move it over the fire! <laughs> oh, wait, wait, wait. Could I throw the dagger, try and pin it, like, into the wall over the fire? Mm, you're kind of on the opposite side and the fire's kind of behind you. So you could try to... Yeah, okay, you could get around it and try to do that. Make an attack roll. Okay. Ten. <laughs> you chuck it and it uh it the the blunt end of the dagger just kinda hits it, hits it and poof, falls onto the ground. Um Ira. <sighs> Let's cut it in oil. Uh can I get in that similar position to a Seymour was? Mm, no, it's a small hallway, you couldn't really do that. <clears throat> Can't just line up. <laughs> All right, everybody, stand on the line. <laughs> no, I get that. Uh, okay. So then Do here's like my <laughs> duck. Just yeah. throw, how duck. Throw. Away, how far away were you from it when you did that? Are you five feet? Five feet. Yeah. Okay, I'm just gonna run up to it and attack it twice. Then. Right, you're already right next to it, so roll oh, attack. Let's attack it twice. Uh, oh, mm. all right, that's a ten. Okay. Mana crit. All right. Yeah. Oh, Oh, we're flanking? Yes. I don't know this thing. Uh, that was my intention was to flank it. It's also okay. a rogue. So yeah, I wasn't saying. I don't get it. You I don't get, get advantage unless I'm flanking still, though. Right? I'll say, yeah, all right. I'll say you're flanking oh, right, with yeah. We had this with discussion Seymour. yesterday. When I'm That's why. So I was like, okay, whatever. All right, it's at five feet, not flanking. Go ahead. Roll your sneak attack. <laughs> can, I, can I move to flanking or am I walking in? No, you're flanking. It's fine. Just remind me next time. You did crit. Yep. I crit on the dagger, though. And then I'll kind of sidestep a little, so I'm not going to get out of range of it, but I'm okay. just kind of step. You uh, you take you take your daggers and you <laughs> shred down this thing, and you turn it into like three strips of oily uh, cloth that just kind of drift to the ground and fall. Oh, okay. <clears throat> and they're about that. I'll chuck the pieces of cloth into the fire then. <laughs> and they explode in fire as the o the oil. Ooh. How flammable is that oil? It's oil immediately. Okay, the, the fire kind of sputters a bit, and it kind of spills out, and the oil kind of uh, goes outwards, and it lands on some of the cloth and linen, and uh, there's a few flames beginning Control to begin. Flames. And they're all gone. <laughs> and all uh, best digitation clean anything that might have gotten <laughs> The oil on the ground, uh, the ash, yeah, you prestigitate all of it. Can I mage hand the box that I saw? Yep, you mage hand the box over. It is a small uh, golden lockbox. Try to open Is that it book. Mm-hmm. You know, I hate to admit it sometimes, but you're all better mages than I am. What do you mean? Not really, I don't think. I'll try to slate of hand, uh, pick that lock. Just how to stop by. Okay, you heard. Oh, yeah. I work in kitchen. Uh, 24. Oh, yeah, that's right. Uh, there you go. I hand you a potion, too. You turn, you begin to move your thieves tools through it, finding the little bits, and you... And it opens. What's inside? Inside. The stone of the Lord. <laughs> <gasps> and you also have a, healing, a basic healing potion for me. Okay. If you want to roll that. Uh, she got me back to full. Oh, okay. Can I have that? Still take it because yeah. Oh yeah, you need it too, huh? Yes. What is it? Two D four or? Two D four plus two. This is cult regalia, and you can easily tell this. 
There are crimson robes. It's a little bit bigger than I thought. Oh. Um, crimson robes, golden masks, and golden sacrificial daggers on the inside. They look expensive. They're a part of Ghost Club. I'm going to take as many of the daggers as I can. Uh, there are two. I will take both. All right. Two. Like... They're like they're they're like gold on one end, and then they're like edged on one point as they kind of point upwards. They're about maybe this big. They're incredibly ornate and very shiny and pristine. Would they treat as regular daggers? Mm-hmm. Right. Can I? And I have like slots. You know, I'm just kind of. Right. Can I try to figure out what? Mm, there's two masks on the inside I, too, and they're the, like, these horned devil masks. I, 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 I should <coughs> warn you guys. Um, what I'm, kind I'm, of god this is, or mm. this is just like. Intelligence check. I'm Definitely feel, not feeling, the. A religion check. I'm feeling pretty religion? low, pretty low on uh, on magical Ooh. ability, so I don't I don't think I can try that charm thing anymore mm. uh, until we rest. I can still put people to sleep. So. Religion okay. is only a four. I don't know. But see, I'm see, going might be to better at verse, but you have a long just family. assume Ari knows that this is not for the demigod <coughs> that was out there no. from my very high world earlier. Um, there is another room in the green room. Another door that heads to another room. There is also so a just a closet. Did you guys take the robes and masks? Uh, I took the daggers. So basically, the green room, the, the wine, the the room had a closet, and this was inside of it. And then there's another door in in this room. I'm well. gonna take all that cold stuff. No right, you, take take it. you took he. I already took the daggers. You take the masks and the robes. Yeah, I think uh, I she took one mask. All right. I'll check the other room. Um, you head inside that yeah, room. No. Uh, banish my cooking pot. Still have the ladle. Can't remember the ladle. <laughs> no, it's a big ass ladle. It's locked. He beats people with it. With what? May I? Oh, yeah. Uh, roll a few stools. Nope. That's <laughs> a one. You walk over and you stick your thieves' tools in it and you. Uh oh. And it's stuck in the, in the lock now. The tool is? Yeah, the one piece of the tool. Is, oh. Does that. I think we've had this discussion before. I still have the tools to do these tool shit. Yeah, you just made it harder to open the lock. I could try. You'd like? You're gonna have to try to get his thieves tool out while also do- doing it, which okay. is fine. It's just on high. Are you proficient with thieves tools? She, oh, so you I was, was gonna ask, does she do what? two? It's just a slate of hand. You don't know how to use them. <laughs> you just don't add your proficiency bonus. Just slate of hand check. That's what profi- it's a tool proficiency, not a ability to use. I can try to drive a car, having never driven a car before. I, I, I'm aware. So. Uh, Let's make the DC higher. Well, you don't have your proficiency. Yeah. Okay, okay, go ahead. Doubly hard. Ooh, that was almost a 19, but it is only a 10. What kind of door is this? You, you pull out the tools and you're like, mm. can't get around iron. <coughs> what? What kind of door is this? It oh. is oh, a God, exotic best. hardwood door. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, I'm going to cast one in the great bonfire <laughs> and then control flames to just siphon the flames up into a perfect ring around the handle. He's trying to melt the handle. Like no, I'm trying to burn the wood around the handle. Oh. Um, I, I can keep them from expanding, so I'll just focus on it. The way that I believe this would work is every six seconds it does a D8 until the door's held is broken. Okay. Uh, so it right. takes about a solid minute. He's basically trying to use the fire as like a saw to saw around the handle. Right. Okay. Wait, can I listen in on this door, door, door before he does that to see if there's anyone in there? You hold up your ear to the door. It doesn't sound like there's anybody inside. You begin to control the flame around the, the lock, and the lock begins to heat up. Uh, Not the lock, the wood around it. Like a right. ring around the... Yeah. It... This is going to take a while. This door is sturdy. It is polished and like and and very very strong. The flames are kind of pushing up against it and black blackening it. But from what you can tell, this is going to take like a, a bit longer than just a minute. Maybe like fifteen minutes, thirty minutes, even. Okay, <laughs> screw that. Let's go somewhere else. Okay. Well, we can't. We can't really just. I look around in my pockets. Do that lady have keys? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> she had a key. Right. I'll just, uh, right. can, I, can I get my pick un- unstuck? You should check your pockets. Mm-hmm. Do ladies have pockets? Yes. Well, I've got cool robes. You have, like, what do you... Yep. Can I get my pick yes, unstuck? Yes, I'm in. Uh, Dick yeah, you walk her. Follow it up. Yes, you go. Uh, no big problem. Um, you, Ooh, you... Shoes are cute. 
You walk over, and the key's too small for the door. Oh, damn it. It's for the lockbox. Oh. I look through my robes. No. Yeah, yeah, same key. How long does sleep last? A minute. A minute? Really? I thought <laughs> yes. it was an hour. No, it's a minute. The little kids should be awake, and the people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can cast sleep on them, though. Yeah, you hear... Yeah, that's true. We did knock one of them out. You hear rustling, and you look over, and the blanket thrown over the two people you put on the couch is, like, moving. It's like, uh, uh, what's... Yeah. Bing. Bing. What's... <laughs> I think maybe we should gag them and mm -hmm. bind them. Where's the socks? <laughs> you put the socks in their mouth? Uh-huh. Nasty. Ooh. They're nice. clean. We did a cat's biscuit. Blah, 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 yeah. blah. They, they, they probably taste pretty good. Mm -hmm. All right, you, you stuff you their probably. mouths with, with, with socks. Then, um, yeah, I'll use like like the tie oh, yeah, we can use, the, right? use one of the sheets, so we might need that rope. Oh, that's true. Tear up one of the sheets and... Tie them back to back. Okay. Can you do anything else? Nope. Well, I can try to get into that door again, maybe. I thought, can I try to get into the door again? The key didn't work. Mm -mm. And when you went into the toy room, that extra room was That's just you. nothing. Just a kid's room. Okay. I'm walking. Sure, away. go ahead. Maybe not split the party. Uh, that would be a 23. There you go. You stick it in, and the door uh, opens. Jeez, we got it. Oh. It's the master bedroom. Okay, so this is actually my. The walls are adorned with nine. What is that? Oh, kind of tiefling heads. <laughs> what are those? Grandma, grandpa, great grandpa. Oh god. <laughs> Kendall Barra. Yeah. Oh man, I was reading about that in Harry Potter. Oh, it's Potter. a freeze. Okay. A when they freeze. put the, it's a, the elements. Like, it's like a, a carved part of the wall. Yeah. And they want it. Uh, okay. Yep. Uh, the walls are adorned with nine freezes, each one depicting something. There are nine of them. From Dragon Ball. Mm -hmm. Or from Taco Bell. <laughs> oh. <laughs> um, there is also a four-poster four <laughs> bed draped in deep red <laughs> curtains and tipped with golden spires <laughs> that stand for the ornate <laughs> door, carved from dark hardwood and a gold latch. Fucking dark hardwood. What was the, the nine part? Oh, I didn't quite catch that. Sorry, sorry, dark hardwood's not easy to burn through. Yeah, fuck that. <laughs> what? What was the nine thing? There, uh, freezes. So, like, carved parts out of the wall. Okay. Or, okay. 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 five, six, seven, eight, nine of them. We got five. Right, just to pick something different. Ten of the orange cream. Can I discern what they are? Make an intelligence check. <laughs> Demons. <laughs> I think that one's Skittles flavored. <laughs> yes. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Fourteen. Yes. Mm. Twenty-two. Twenty-two. Is it a religion check? Is it religion? It's like right at the tip of your tongue. Can't figure out. Figure it out. They look creepy. Is it a yeah, religion you know check? To That's just a flat intelligence. Cool. I will take a You're shot. Oh, yeah. So anything religion, I remember being yeah, wizard. Previous, so. 18. Well, that's not right. fine. You know, you know. Uh, 17. For some reason, Chiba's knows. Chiba's. Yeah, he has an intelligence of 16. This is better than mine. This, you start to look at it, and you're like, what? Oh. These depict the nine layers of hell. Oh. Eeeeee. Eeeeee. Okay. Oh, this one, I don't want to skills. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Uh, the layer, the layer of hell known as Skittles, <laughs> in which the Lord Asmodeus uh, I want to go resides. there. And then the other thing in this room was like a really fancy bed, or? Yep, super fancy bed. With yeah. like, uh, red drapes on the sides and they're tipped with gold. Can Is I? There anything? Oh. Go, you no, do you no, go. no, go. Is there anything under the bed? Yes, uh -huh. there is a gold lockbox. Solid gold lockbox. Holy fuck, I am taking box. this with me. Uh, uh, it's heavy. super heavy. Yeah. <laughs> um, it, but like solid freaking gold. Hey, uh, the lockbox itself keys? is probably worth a lot. Cool. I'll throw a key to him. Well, no deck save to catch not the work. key. Can I try yours? Sure. Deck I'll save. try her key too. What? Try, try both of them. Doesn't work. Both the same. Uh, are there any desks in here? Can I have that back? Thanks. Jacob? Any what? A desk. 
No. No. Should I try to pick it? Are there like a... It's just a very ornate bedroom. Closets, arm... Are there, what are those called? Armoires? Something like that? There's a door in this room. There's a door? Um, yeah, one more door that leads over to... A closet? Mm, it's not a closet. That's kind of weird. What is that? A pantry. It's a pantry. Mr. Castleberry gets hungry at night. <laughs> is it a bathroom? A Something? It's an attic landing in the next room. Mm. Oh. Um, there's a beam of light that shines feebly through a shuttered window at the end of this room. It's very clean, very empty. Should we head up there? Make a perception check. All of us, or what? Just her? Yeah. Okay. Nine. You hear a noise, but you can't make out what it is. It's like you, you like uh, you like just can't hear it. You're trying to I listen to me. You just can't hear it. Yeah. I'm gonna try to pick the lockbox. Make a make a thieves tools check. We don't. Listen. Twenty one. Very quiet. I hear an angel. Yeah, that's my voice. Make a Constitution saving throw. Is anybody? Uh, are you next to him? Uh, no. Okay, nobody's next to him. Where? So I don't know I'm where he's at. He's by the bed opening the box. I'm trying to get him to listen to the noise. I was going to try and like search the bed for any like little hidden levers. All right, so just you. Looking at the butterflies. You what? Looking at the butterflies out the window. I'm trying to look for stuff. You see the kids wandering around outside. Like, oh, shit. What? what? They look really confused. <laughs> Super confused. What? 17. 17. You open it, um, and as you open it... <coughs> This spray shoots into your face. You're <coughs> um, uh-huh. What happened? Eh. You're gonna lose foam, boy. Got poopy on his face. You succeeded the roll, though. Okay. Um, you take nine poison damage oh, as it just sprays into your face and you just <coughs> spit it out. And there's a little trap mechanism on the inside that you notice, and you open it all the way. And on the inside, you see two more golden daggers, two more masks. Uh, and uh, two more uh, robes. It's like everyone here is a cultist or something. Mm. Even the children. And that's it. Oh, no, the right. children. I'll take the two oh, daggers. Yeah. The two daggers, these ones are like carved with like little runes. Um, and they're just far fancier than the previous yeah, ones. They're bigger too. And the masks are like bigger, more detailed. Um, they have longer horns on the ends of them. And uh, yeah. Are you taking all? Was devil Did you say there were robes too? Mm-hmm. No, the robes are, um, they, they're, the robes are like uh, much larger and fancier. Did anyone? Did anyone take the robes? I too? took both. Both? And she took, took one mask. You took one mask. Go get the other mask. I have an idea. I took it. Pull it up. Yeah. Perfect. If they're all like this, why aren't we like this? Because they're not wearing them. They were in lockboxes. And we will be wearing them. That way, if we run into anyone, they we are not locked boxes. I don't think they wear these casually. Yes, but they won't see our faces. They won't see our faces. They won't know why we're wearing them. We can use it as a. Won't that be sp- suspicious, regardless? If no, we're he's, we're he's saying towards, if we get caught and we need to get out, we'll put them on. They won't know who they are. But I look like someone I know already. Yes, no, but they don't. Oh, then. The, but then if we do. What I'm saying we is, can if put we them put them on. on if we put them on right now, unless we run into, unless we haven't run into the owners of these ones yet, uh, okay. then we can use that as an excuse to get maybe to the stone. Long or leave the devils of the nine hells. Guys, I think I hear something <laughs> upstairs. Are we upstairs? I'll grab one of There's my masks an and uh, I'll grab one of the more ornate masks and I'll pass the other one to uh, you. Oh, did you have that? Did you grab the one from the lockbox? He doesn't have any. He doesn't oh, have any. okay. I thought I put one. I didn't realize. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I didn't realize that you grabbed one from the box that I just opened. And, and then, the lady and then I'll put the robe on over, and I'll check the dagger. I'm Is already it wearing the robe, right? Make an arcana check. One lady's robe. Nana's robe. Mm-hmm. Nana's robe. Uh, Nana the devil worshiper. Seventeen. You don't know. I can't. I can't tell having like wizard abilities and seventeen. Okay. It's not like you can just tell something's magical. It, it could be. You don't. You don't know. 
Okay. Do you think it could be magical? I, I, I don't understand how that works. I thought you could just tell something magical if you want. Yep, that's why there's spells like Detect Magic and Identify that can tell you something super, magical. Super, super fair. <clears throat> identify. Uh, there's a room I'm trying to find. For some reason, it's just like not here. And I'm kind I'll of pass trying to find the other one in Secret room. We're all in cult gear now. <laughs> nice. Y'all look like cultists. Yeah. Hell yeah. Let's go summon some demons. I, can't, I can't have any of those daggers. Have oh, oh. oh, okay, I'm sorry. The room you step into is not just an empty fucking room. It's I wish I could show you this. I could show you how confusing it makes it. Um, this is <laughs> a, a, a study, a private study you step into. Um, the walls are lined with bookshelves packed with thick deck. tomes. Uh, there are uh, a, yes. okay, there is a there is a desk okay. um, and <laughs> there is a ladder. I'd like to rummage through the desk. Go over the desk. There is a big red grip. Gri- Grimoire? Grimoire on top of the desk, thick paper bound in leather. Does it say, uh. Location of the. <laughs> bound in crimson leather. Um, I feel like it's only fair for Jacob to know, in case they are magical in some way. Uh, we have the super fancy daggers, and they have the somewhat fancy daggers. Okay. So. Um, is there any text on the just on the front of it? No. Nope. like the Bible of. No, it does not have any text or... on the front. Dear diary, today I stole a stone from somebody. I put it up my bum. Oh no. Do you want to open it? Uh, no, I do not. Okay. Uh, do you want to go through the desk? Yes. I'm super down. Uh, the look. desk has an ornate golden candlestick, right. a golden inkwell, okay. a feathered quill pen. Mm-hmm. There is also um, a wax seal bearing the Castle Lantern crest. A book. Would you just send out mm, uh, just, a, like, just a, 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 another book? It looks fancy. Good paper, good, um, you uh, know. I'll open that one. That's a spell book. Spell book. Mm-hmm. Okay, I, I want to head over to the uh, Necronomicon. The Necron, the, the Grimoire? Okay. Yeah. There are also ten vials of jet black liquid. Jet black liquid. Is it ink or is it... This, it's like a crate, and it, yeah. you pull out one of the drawers, and there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's like, hmm, it's not ink. You pull it out. It's about this big, very fancy bottle, dark, viscous liquid. Can I take that? Roll intelligence. Sure. And then share the money. Where is my cat right now? She's going through the desk. No, but yeah, uh, where? Like, oh, 14. in the room. It, so I, I like oh. uh, you have you have their bedroom, mm-hmm. and then in the next room over, I said it was just an empty room that, oh, that okay. goes up and you can hear a noise. It's not. It's this room. It's um. It's oh. a study. Fourteen. Fourteen. You would not be wrong to assume that this could be a poison. I'm gonna you go it. into the book. Are you holding on to it? Or you just leave it on the desk. What the book? Yeah, the no, book I'm not touching that. I think it's evil. You Put go over it. to it. You grab it. No, I'm, just, I'm opening it. Blank pages, blank, All blank, blank. A few pages have like dried drops of blood. Okay. Um, well, it's pretty obvious what this is. I'm gonna fucking close that shit. What are you guys finding? I think I found some poison. And a spell book, you can have it. Cool. There is also a ladder in the room that leads up to, uh, 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 to a trap door. Should we head oh. up there? Okay. Uh, great vampire on the book. Oh, fuck. And cat round two. Mm-hmm. <laughs> as long as Logan didn't just summon a pit fiend, we're okay. Yeah, I could have. Because communication is. It's ironic that uh, both times something like that would happen. Create bonfire on the book. Um, do you just drop it in the bonfire? <laughs> it lands in the bonfire. It does not burn. Okay. This I re- book is evil. I run yes. over. Don't, don't, don't. Can I, can I try and pull it out? You, yeah. It's hot, it's hot. And then Make you, it you grab it and it's okay. What are you doing? It's fire. Doesn't oh, you reach into the, the bonfire yeah. still there? Yeah. Uh, okay. You can't get rid of it. It just stays from the How much damage does it do? It does a D8 if you fail a deck save. Make a deck save. Can't trip. Thirteen. Oh, okay. Well, depending on my rolls, I'm probably gonna fail this. Uh, I got a thirteen. All right. So roll a d. Oh, it does no, no damage. Yeah. You you grab it. It's a little warm, and you're like, oh. You, you hold on to it. Okay. Don't burn books. Can't burn a book. Oh. 
Oh, thank God. This is an unburnable book? He is. He's your spells in it. Yeah. yeah. Alright. I'll flip through. Blank pages. Each one of them occasionally has a drop of blood. He's a dried He's some of sort blood. of back book, I think. I pull out this fancy dagger. No, no. Is my more. finger? Mm. It drips onto the book. Maybe that wouldn't be the best. Uh, as soon as you drip it onto the book, the pages light up in uh, infernal text that covers all of it. Oh, and just, no, this good thing I speak uh, Celeste. And it, uh, it just begins to say that yeah, this book different. is magical as hell. I know. Can I read it? I read infernal. So do I. <laughs> See, you can. Magical as hell. Uh-huh. Lights up in uh-huh. infernal text. Ha uh-huh. ha uh-huh. Uh-huh. I was really hoping it would open a portal and then it's like, ooh, Stone of Glory room. And then. <laughs> that that would be cool. Show. More like, this is. This Can't, you can cast spells as rituals, yes? Yes. This book Magical. describes a ritual. It is the magical incantation to a ritual. Let's cast it. You can spend 11 minutes reading the book and understanding how to use the ritual. Let's create a gruesome pact with a devil that seals our souls so that we fight in the eternal wards of hell. Would you uh, just say that? No. Mm. <laughs> I'm, I'm like, probably, I probably don't have time to read, read <laughs> it. I really want to. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to take me some time. Maybe we should find Wait. the stone. Okay, close it. All right. Head upstairs. Do I That's hear a good the... book closing sound. Yeah. yeah. Nice. <laughs> Do I hear there's a noise? You can hear something up there. Do you guys hear that? Hear Everybody it? make perception checks. Okay. Eleven. What's the number below four? Three. <laughs> Nineteen. You can't really make it out, Ira. You can. Two different sounds. One of them is crying. Oh. It's totally, it's totally Sounds out. like a woman's soft sob. Second is this awful howling. Sounds like Occasionally the sounds of chains. Yes, that would disgust oh. <laughs> Sends a chill down your spine. Ben's are things you whisper to do us. Ari's are things. You like seven things. different things. Yes, but uh, there's one thing that I think it is. And that's why I said that. Have you guys ever read <laughs> Frankenstein's monster? Yes. Lightly. No, and it did. I've never heard of that. I read the full prompt. I didn't read the actual. Anyways, what's up? there? It's freaking me out. Nice. Uh, I'm gonna head up there. <laughs> Should I go first? Is it just a, is it just, I should say no, but. Is it just a growling noise? Or? As long as it's not a wolf, we should be fine. Should I go first? If he's a wolf, then we are fine. I don't know. Wolves are pretty tough. Yeah, I, I agree. Have you seen what wolves can do? Have you seen what I can do to wolves? No. No, but I would like to. I guess that means we're going up. If Chivas thinks he can hurt the wolf, because I don't think I can. I can't. I can't do that. I'm going to start climbing. Are wolves just your version of bears? What? <laughs> no. Oh. <laughs> we tell you the backstory, but then it would ruin it all, so. Oh, shit. <laughs> you head up the stairs. Who goes going, up the ladder? It's a ladder. That one first. Going quiet. Chivas goes first. Chivas goes first. Then Ira. Ira goes first. Oh. Uh, stealth, dirty twenty. Why'd you roll twice? Because it fell off the table. Oh, okay, all right. I, I thought you was a jack I don't know, man. <laughs> um, all right, you begin to slowly make your way up the steps. Yeah, I know. I've okay. been rolling over here, in that, over here. I don't know the why trap door is not open. locked. It uh, slowly opens. Like fucking eyes right I liked there. when you rolled it in the tray and it bounced out. Bounced out, yeah. <laughs> That's why I just gave up on rolling it in the tray. You just gotta. It's a small room with a door. So there's nothing in my immediate vicinity. <laughs> hang on, hang on, hang on. You just gotta use that uh, check them description the dice board. tower. Instead of going like that, yeah. you need to just. Yeah, like, you didn't bring the dice tower. Yeah, just use the dice tower. <laughs> there's a reason I didn't bring the dice tower. <laughs> I want to use the dice tower. That's right. Yeah, I do want to see what happens if you use it. Thick scent of sulfur that pervades this attic. This is the attic landing. It's nothing like in here. Hanford. There is a beam of light that shines in, and beyond the door in the room, you can hear that soft crying, and that. I'm gonna like put a hand down and like motion them to come up, okay. and I'm gonna try to slowly open the door. Uh, you guys make your way up this on the ladder. You peer into the next room. 
It's a large. Uh, <coughs> it's a large attic. We're all going in there with devil masks on, with daggers <laughs> out, like... We should go in there, like, serpentine motions. Start, like, cultist chanting. Yeah. Yeah. Chant yeah. I'm gonna get out my, uh, <laughs> my sensor. The perfect chant. Yeah. So... In my high school, we had this ritual that if anyone ever came into the class while well, during that period, we would like do something ridiculous. Oh. Uh, and usually it was just clapping for whoever came in, and oh. they'd be like giving a note so that they could go to like I don't know the office or whatever. Maybe came in late. Uh, no, no, no. Like a, a staff would come in with like a note for a kid so that they could go to the office or just whatever. If someone they just had to go somewhere, you know, I don't know because they do that at high schools. Yeah. Uh, and so that was something that we did one time. Was <laughs> we, we started doing the shark bait chant. Oh, nice. <laughs> yeah. And so, uh, eventually, like, people just got really used to it, and they, like, they knew that if they were coming to that period at that specific time, like, they would just take a bow whenever they came in and things like that. That was fun. Oh, it's this class. <laughs> students. Start really eerily singing, like, the Wiggles song. <laughs> <laughs> we're not that Wiggles clever, Logan. Salad. You see something... into the next room. It's very dark, lit, and lit only by a few candles in the room. You have a dark vision. As you look into the back of the room, you see Lady Castle Enter lying on the ground, handkerchief to her face, as she is, is just crying. Right next to her, standing there, is this massive hulking creature. Like over her? Yes. It is nightmarish in its look. It has chains all over its body. It stands there over her, and she's just crying in front of it as it just stands there staring at her, making these noises. And it occasionally kind of moves around, and as it moves around, the chains just kind of clink around. Can it. I tell what, sound, what, what it's saying? No, it's not making any, it's not speaking anything. It's just making noises. The voice is raspy, as if it's been yelling and yelling and yelling, but only now it's kind of maybe calmed down. How, how big is it? Eight, nine feet tall. Chains cover its entire body and face. It's got this pale pink skin and these bulging blue veins out of it and these long claws for hands and hooks at the end of the chains. So it kind of stands there. I cast a message to Michael. Micah, uh, I don't see a stone. Maybe we should just go. I'm gonna pour some oil into my pot. All right, none of you see this. This is only I. Oh. oh, okay, never mind. Oh. You guys are. What are you? Yeah, one, two, I, three, I four over there. the door. Is there anything else in here? <laughs> no. There's a door, a small door that probably leads to like a closet. You then notice as you as you look over uh, something I forgot to mention. It's standing. The room itself has this massive pentagram into the floor. I don't. I, I, don't, I know that I know that she's around here, but like, so I I move away so you guys can see what's in there. She is not enemy. She is a rival. Yes, I know. I, I will also I tell you one more thing. Sorry, um, because I'm, I'm reading it and I forget it. All this information. Uh, the chains that are connected to the thing <coughs> are strung up towards the walls into the ground and are hooked there as if it's just stuck there. It can barely move. I, we can't just. We can't just leave her. I know that we could. We could. We, There's no stone. I know, but guys. Our son. Oh. The castle is with the sun. He's he's not really he went, he went missing a few Probably days ago. Probably because of 
Yeah. Sorry to lose her. We're whispering, but... He went, he went missing a few years ago. I don't... don't... He was... Child is not five, nine feet tall. Yes, but... Even if it is her son... It's, it's magic that can transform people into things like that. At the very least, I can get rid of the pentagram. If you get rid of pentagram, usually you release creatures. Yes. Sometimes you run like so much of our parents. Really? Will it release the well creatures done. or keep well them from being summoned? Release. Either or. Summoning it's magic binding. is binding magic. If you release, you release back. God damn it, I fucked it up again. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's a minor detail. The pentagram is not around the entirety of the room. It's around him. Yeah. He's centered in the center of it. His chains hold him up towards the walls and the ground, and she's on the outside of it. <laughs> what if we're wrong? What if, what if it... If we kill it, we'll have to kill her. <laughs> I'm going to start going back down the line. We can make it our problem. Can, do you think we have some time? I don't, I don't know. For what? Well, uh, this book might be that. And at least then I could know. A, a key to maybe releasing? Or figuring out what happened. Sense. Yes. Understanding. Yeah. I don't want to watch watch what's going on in there. We are here for a storm, yes? yes? Yes, but if we only keep our eyes on the gold, then who do we become? We're no better than the we people that stole it. And we're no better than the people that stole the stone, the stone from us. We never yes, said we were. Yes, we are not. We have stolen stone. stone. Yes, but I start to be better than that. I start stone to be better than just a thief. That's not why I got gift. into this. Not That's exactly what we are being. We just broke into home. And now is our chance to, to not be that. To come in here After and murder her? No. To figure out what's going on and fix it. I'm gonna start reading. By killing it in her? Just remember, we're not actually this loud. What's lab. going on in this book? It, w yeah, well, uh, you guys are still in the attic? No, we, no, we went back down. We're in the, oh, you're not in the attic anymore. Yeah. We're in the, we're, we're uh, in the room, uh, uh, we're, we're in the room down the ladder, but we're still the arguing mm -hmm. her. It's just, if, if that book has to I don't mind waiting, but I don't think we should go back up there and Try to kill whatever that thing is, or her. I don't want to kill it. I want if it is if it is her son. I want to fix it. Okay, that's fine. Take your time. I guess we're waiting. Let I'm sorry. Know. It takes 24 hours to read the book. Oh. <laughs> oh, well. Unless you have a feat, then it takes half. I have that feat. Let's do it. No, you don't. <laughs> <laughs> You're a wizard. Yes. What school? Abjuration. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> No, there's a feat that lets you like speed read. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, sorry, it'll, t it'll take you a long ass time if, to finish. If he was in the school of conjuration, he could have cut it in half anyway. Well, this changes everything. Uh, I'm yeah. not going to be able to figure it out. I'm sorry, I keep forgetting things. Well, what are we doing? I always I want come back. To help, but I don't know if doing anything is going to help this situation. Nothing can be. Extremely powerful. There's probably a reason it's chained up. It makes it easy to kill. Yes, but the point isn't to kill. If it is her son, and she decides that work, if she notices that work up there to kill her and her son, she's going to probably unleash it so that it can kill us. There is also that room behind her. The the, chains. the stone might be behind her. I'm pretty sure she's. Um, I'm gonna go check on the gag ladies. <laughs> okay, you go check on the gag ladies. They're still out. The stone might be behind her. Just for it, same it, method. Oh, <laughs> no, no, fucking kill him. <laughs> the, there, you said there was another room behind. No, no, no. You said there was another room behind them, right? <laughs> like a little closet area. We already went in there. In the where where the like, gas lantern was. Yes. Oh. Yeah, there's a door in the side. It looked like a closet. There's also a closet up there. It might be. <laughs> the there's also Mister Castellanta. You hear a door shut above you. Yeah. And a like a lock. She's coming. Yeah. And then you see, then move. you guys begin to, as you guys begin to move out. You see the trap door slowly open. You guys quickly make your way out of the room and shut the door. Okay. Bro. Well, she's coming this way, so we have to do something. I'll put. I'll make sure. I'll push her lockbox uh, under the bed. 
You throw the lockbox under the bed. You guys have like one thing you can do before she gets in here. And then I'll try to hide in the bed with it. Hmm? I'll try to hide in the bed I'm with it. Unless pushing it with the You roll under the bed? I'm standing right around the door so when she opens it I can sneak attack. Okay. That's all I do is I go. I give him the affirmation. Affirmation. Are there curtains in here? Yeah, on the bed. On the bed? Mm hmm. Can I hide behind them? Okay, yeah, you get on the bed, you're under the bed. Um, you're right behind the door, so and you're like, thumbs up. Uh, the door opens, and she... No, <laughs> sorry. I didn't mean I wasn't going to, like, hide. I'm, oh, I, okay. Like, yeah. I'm just going to be on one side of the doorway, and I'll be on the other. Doorway. Roll attack with advantage. All right. It's going down. Knock her out. Yeah, you can Knock also just be it. like, ow. Oh, no, and like I hit her fucking again. Uh, that is above 20. Okay, roll damage. Okay. Eight damage. What? Roll a goddamn two on the con save. <laughs> she just to sleep? She makes her way in and uh, you whoop, <laughs> whack her over the side of the head and she uh, <laughs> hits the ground. Put her in the bed. Chivas, the woman smacker. You yeah. go to the bed <laughs> yeah. and you oh. throw her on the bed. I need to go invest my money She's in a white dead, right? Top. <laughs> she's not dead, but you oh, do get a, now get a good look at her. She's a very beautiful woman um, in I her mid thirties. Um, she uh, she's got brown hair that's kind of pulled up uh, into a bun on her side. Uh, she's wearing this long uh, gown, not like a super fancy gown, just like a casual wear that uh, she she wears down below her. Um, that's really it. Because that thing is really chained up, and we can just go see what's in that closet. Or we can wear them. From her, what he does. They likely keep brooms in that closet. That's what I would do. Yes. Yeah, with all your stone. That's, that's where we keep our brooms. Right, right next your, to the demons. Yeah. Yes. If you need, if you want, I'll go in there myself. To brooms. If you want, I'll go in there myself. I it's not important. I don't know that it would be up there, but it could very well be up there. Do we gag her or ask questions? Gag you and I can go to the attic. You guys can. She likes to know knows where Stone is. Watch her. So why would That's she true. tell us where it is if she wants it that bad? Because we have big labels. I see. But if she, I'm pretty sure if she would rather die than tell us where it is. Some people would rather die than give up. Her but husband and her children well. can still live on with Those all of that money. Those people haven't experienced accurate torture. One She's of those also people got beheaded. Fighter, so. Yeah, uh, what are you doing? To the attic. We wouldn't do that. Go into the attic. Uh, who goes to the attic? Seymour and I. And I don't know, you guys make your way over. And head up. Tie up the, Mrs. Castellanter. Yeah. And you tie up Mrs. Castellanter. That's abducted another noble. You can. Oh. Okay. What's your favorite thing? Huh? It works out pretty well for me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, okay. You uh, you guys make your way up on uh, up to the you two make your way up in in our cold car. In your cold car, do you go into the room? Yes. That is yes. step in, yeah. It's locked. Can you go get the key off of her? Yeah. You go back down, you go you go over, you grab the key, you make your way over, you come back up, you go to the door, you open it, you open the door. You step in and you just feel dread. This room is kind of uh, uh, pointed at the top because it's the very top of everything. It's the attic room. It's, there's some cobwebs about, but it's mostly very clean. Is this what was supposed to be the turret? Uh, no. Oh, okay. Yes. 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 This okay. is what's supposed to be the turret. Okay. Um, you step in. You see this awful creature strung up by chains on its legs and arms, hooked into the ceiling with its head drooping in this um, in this pentagram as it looks up at all of you as the chains just kind of cover its mouth and yeah, it's gonna go over to the closet trying to ignore it as much as I can it's like it's like howling at you basically um, you make your way over the the closet I'm gonna sample the wine cabinet delicious <laughs> <coughs> yep this room contains derelict furnishings draped in black linens, chairs, coat racks, freestanding mirrors, dress mannequins, and the like. <clears throat> the draped objects take on a sinister countenance in the gloom, but 
There's nothing wrong with them. Nothing in here? It's literally just storage. Kind of looks like they used to store it out in this room, and they shoved it all in here, um, and now this guy is in here. Anything? Ooh, no, nothing. Were there mannequins? Were there mannequins? Mm hmm? Mm -hmm. Watch your back. Oh, I'll close the door. Don't blink. The thing is, turning and, re and reeling and just howling at the two of you, as it kind of looks up and you see glints in his eyes, you just see tears falling down its eyes. I will come back. I'm gonna walk up, like I'm gonna walk, like as I'm going back, and then I'm not gonna get too close to it. But I'll be about ten feet away from it, and I'll okay. look at it. I don't. I don't. Know, I don't know who you are, but whatever happened, I'm sorry. We'll it's just see. clinging the chains as it goes back. We're gonna try to. Hopefully. It's just kind of so the door shuts. That hurt. Make your way down. You two are down there just watching watching Lady Castle enter. Um, and as you guys step back in, she actually does begin to slowly. You have to talk to her. And as her eyes kind of slowly open, she well, looks. Yeah, well. You are. Okay. Yeah, we're all in the. She stupid. looks very confused. Did you did you gag her? She's she's like ask? wiggling around, uh, trying to get free. Are you gonna ask her or am I asking? What is this stuff? Pull the gag out of her mouth. Pull the gag out of her mouth. If you scream, I will hit you very hard with pots and pans. <laughs> he will. Roll intimidation. Natural 20. Holy shit. Wow. A very useful roll. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> honestly, it does potentially save us some trouble. Yeah, yes. Like getting much. caught. Yeah, like getting caught. The most trouble we could get in. You you say that. You're a short little cultist. And she's... <laughs> she's <laughs> like, what do you want? What do you want? Where's the stone? I don't know. I think my husband has it. Where is he? Why are you here? What are you doing? I'm just taking the stone. stone. Why? Why would you do that? Because we want it. It's worth money. Why do you want it? To save my children. Two of them are fine. The one upstairs. They're catching butterflies. How does that? You would sell it. You would sell it like a common thief. Yes. How does that save your children? It's long and convoluted, and I can't explain it to you. We have time. I hold up the book. Have to do with this? Put that down. Put that down, please. Answer the questions. Give me the quick version. Roll intimidation as well, Seymour. I'm not good at this. Fourteen. I would do this, the little this persona thing. It does not have to resort to violence. Thing has to happen that I can explain. Yes, you don't want to resort to violence. Always good. Kinda, she kind of squints for a moment. You see, like, a tear run down her face, and then she looks back up. The stone of Galore is a key to a vault full of gold. We learned as much. Me and my husband need this gold. For what? To appease. Who is him? Asmodeus. Oh, fuck. Holy crap. I was thinking, man. Do we know that? Do we know who that is? Yeah, yeah. You have an idea. It's a like a religious staple name. Well, you know, it, like I mean, it, she, I, yeah, it's like saying Lucifer. Like, yeah. you guys have an idea. <laughs> what does he want with you? He's going to take the souls of our children if we don't give him one million dragons. Can I insight this? Roll insight. Oh, we don't. Fuck. We've only got access to a half. It's What'd half a million. Thirteen. Right? I don't see why she'd be lying. Yeah. But that's I, basically what you think. Can I roll? Sure. Uh, Seventeen. 
she's in no she was not prepared. She's in no position to lie, and she she's scared. It's only half a million. We already have another half a million. Oh well, let's just take theirs. Doesn't solve the problem. What problem? Their problem. It is not our problem. Why does he want your children's souls? I have children. Listen, I don't have problem with Asmodeus. The two, the two young ones. Do you love your children? Yes. Would you do anything for your children? That's what I'm. That's why I'm here. That's what we've done. Well. We've gone great lengths to create a life for our children. A life enslaved by Demon King. Why does he want the money? ritual we have to appease him in order for him to free the souls of them. The price is that, and that's why we need the stone. Lady, is dog eat dog world. We're going to the same lengths to get money for ourselves. Your problems are your own. How did you come to know I have days? Like, what, what happened? What made you I'd rather not tell you that story. I think I can figure it out. Where's your husband? Where's the stone? I don't know where he is. He's somewhere downstairs. Where are my children? They're okay. The two young ones are safe. We're not here to hurt any of you. I will not lead you to that stone. You no already told us. You too. It seems as though they fell on hard times me knowledge. Now we know how you bounced back. He took my son. You gave him your son. I didn't offer him. Go ahead, we are listening. Will they return him to? Yes. <sighs> Gagger again? You, you gag her. Okay. This family is nothing special. You kind of just watch her just kind of slowly just kind of crumple forward and just begin to cry. Even even if we get the gold, I can't. I know. I can't. I can't. I can't do. I can't do those two. The, the, the things like this happen all over the world. Let's all, go get the stuff. All the time. Yes, and when it happened. When it happens to your family, wouldn't you prefer someone? I wouldn't make this mistake. Do you know, I don't Actions have consequences, just like gagging women. Trust me. Let's go get this done. She looks up and she's. <laughs> <laughs> How much is half? Is half a million? Total. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna tap her cheek. It's gonna be okay. <laughs> Let's go get the stone. She's like struggling to try to get free. Oh fuck! Oh, God. <laughs> she slips out of him and uh, she rips the gag out. <clears throat> I'm gonna smack her over the fucking head again. Yeah, well, see, she's gonna do some shit too. I'll put my hands up. Yeah, I'm like, I'm not fighting her. Chivas make a constitution saving throw. What? Oh, Chivas. I Chivas. She. I, I heard she needs to also. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You need to make a constitution saving throw. 16. Damn it. She, uh, she immediately begins to uh, move her hands together. She casts a spell, and you feel chains begin to move about you and slow your movement. You, you break through it. Roll attack. I, I roll initiative. Right. <laughs> I'm going to roll, but I'm not going to act. 21. I also got a 21. Uh, six, uh, 17 decks. So you're higher. What'd you get to use? 19. Natural 20. Jesus. Damn, dude. That's twice that's happened to you, isn't it? Mm, no, the other one was one. She sucks. What'd you get, Ari? 10.
Are right, you first? Are you doing anything? No. Seymour, are you doing anything? Uh, I'm gonna try and knock her out. All right, how are you doing that? Uh, I guess I'm just gonna like try and hit with the butt of the dagger. Okay, you can roll attack. Yes, natural one. <laughs> you you pull out the dagger, and then you <laughs> drop it on the ground. You you pick it up really fast. Um, she was taking a ladle in both hands. I'm All right, try to knock her out. Roll attack. First one is above twenty. Yeah. Second one is a eighteen. Yeah. Roll okay. damage. For the purposes of this fight, I'm assuming you guys are doing non-lethal damage unless you specify otherwise. Yep. Yeah, non-lethal. All right. 18 bludgeoning damage. That's it. Um, she's a bit hardier than before. Okay. Uh, you you kind of slam into her and she kind of takes the blows and she ah, just looks over at you with beam. Mm -hmm. Um... <clears throat> Her eyes are nearly like burning. Are you doing anything? You totally sympathize. Uh, it's not going to. This very quickly become conflict of characters. Yeah. <laughs> Jeebus is very down to earth to each their own kind of thing. No, it makes sense. Very dwarven. Totally. totally. No, no, no. It totally makes sense. Like she holds out her hand, and she holds up her other hand, and uh, in the hand you can see this growing ball of fire begin to explode. She says, stop. Do you? I'm holding, yeah. Leave, or I'll kill us all. There's no need to do that. It's just kind of burning <coughs> her hand. Leave! I want to help you. I don't want your help. There's other people after it. I know. If four people could get in, then the other groups can too. Let us help you get to the goal. I can't speak for the it's other It's not two. like that. I can't entrust you. That's fair. There's more to this story. You don't get to know it. I don't need to know it. If it saves the lives of three children, I don't care. Make a persuasion check. Twenty-one. She closes her eyes, she turns, she looks at you. I wanted the gold because I didn't know there was anything at stake. Now that I we know. must offer Asmodeus one million gold and the souls of 99 people. There is your problem. If you truly want to help me, then leave our estate alone on Founder's Day. She stands there, holding the spell, still in her hand, with her hand up, waiting for you. Ira walks out of the room. I'm waiting at the steps. I'm not. Or like, yeah. like I'm not like walking out of sight, but I'm just like. Enjoy your holiday. I'll step out of the room. Okay. Sure. Yeah, mask on. You guys all Cast sleep. Right before we like leave the through the doorway. Roll it dice. Okay. If she casts fireball, I can cast control flames. Because <laughs> <laughs> that's how it works. It's a five foot radius spell, right? Fireball? You know the thirty foot radius spell? Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. Those are some Medium rolls. Uh, 
Uh, 29. You lucky son of a bitch. She had 28 fucking hit points. Oh my god. You, holy <laughs> shit. Timothy Yeager, holy god. You could have died right now. You could be dead. You turn around, you cast a spell, and she <laughs> falls unconscious. Let's get this done. Do you want to tie it again? Maybe stronger this time? Mm, I'm not that good at knots. You have a minute. I don't know. Gotta go quick. I'll do it. <laughs> You run over and tire? All right, it's gonna take about 20, 30 seconds. Fucking shit. That's a 12 on that. All right, you run over and tire, you got about 30 seconds before she wakes back up. Gagger. Yeah, I'll gag her again. All right, gag her again. Uh, I'm gonna pick her up, put her in the demon closet. Where? Isn't that in this room? No. You want, you're wanting to put her in the attic, right? That's what you're saying? No, sorry, the one that had the book in it. Oh, yes. You throw her into the study? Yeah, the study. You, all right, you put her in the study and you shut the door and she wakes up. You lock it. You lock it, she's <laughs> squirming on the ground. <clears throat> Can we move the stone now? Yes. Uh, we're gonna go fucking downstairs. Okay, you make your way downstairs. Um, taking care of probably half the people here. Uh, you, you're back in the ballroom again. Um, there's, uh, a, this is the second story. Um, there's a stairway that goes down, um, and there's a room, uh, there are two rooms you haven't gone to in this room. <laughs> can take time being quiet and risk turning into ashes. You can, you can go over and just open the doors if you want to check if you're in a hurry, but it's um, up to you guys. We can continue down. We might be in a hurry if she starts making noise. Um, can we... Make or can I make a perception check to see if I hear uh, someone walking? Because I know she said he was downstairs. I'm just kind of mindlessly following in the back. Right you want to listen down the stairs? Sure. Uh, okay, make a perception check. I'm listening for footsteps. Okay. Uh, Thirteen. Um. Yeah, you look down the stairs and you hear you hear two guards conversing. Okay, there's guards over there. So. Maybe Let you know, this is actually that. a part I fucking drawn. The stairs go down here. Oh shit, I probably could have survived that attack. So are we in this room? Absorb elements. Oh, man. Are we in this room? Yeah, no, uh, see where the stairs are in the very center? Yeah, that's, that's the stairs that's you're that. listening down. I know, so are we in this room? Uh, yeah, but upstairs, down. yes. Okay, okay. <laughs> down the stairs you can hear <laughs> two guards right there. Oh, yeah. Sleep again, but they might have more than that. Mm, yeah. And can I sleep? Uh, uh no. <laughs> okay. Um, you said that have we already been through the two doors in, in this place? Mm, he said we probably don't have. Uh, too much time. Yeah, there's two different doors. You can look through one of them if you want. You know, there's no there's no people on this level. So we don't need to. Need to what? Look through the rooms. There's no one in them. All right. I'm, <coughs> gonna, I'm just gonna cast sleep. Roll it, guys. And then I'm I'm going to prepare grease for if it doesn't. All right. It can blow up. So same surprise round action, I guess. Uh, thirty. Ha! Ah, they both have eleven hit points. <laughs> they are unconscious. Got it. Uh, we're gonna head down, I guess. All right, you make your way down. You time. are in a uh, foyer. Uh, there is a bunch of doors in here, uh, and you can see all of them. Can I can I hear anyone? Uh, there is also in this room two pit fiends. Uh, yeah, two fucking pit fiends. Um, you can tell right there, up against the up against the stairs, is a door that leads probably downwards towards a cellar. Then there's one, two, three, four other doors right here. Do have enough rope to tie these guys up? I think we should just move fast and get us. You're, you're going to be awake by the time we wake up. Well, by the time we get back up, so... You still have my rope. It's on the other... It's at the other building. That cut in half. Um, I have 20 feet. Would 20 feet of rope be enough to tie these guys side by side? Yeah. I think so. Sure, yeah. All right, you go ahead and... You, you don't have to... You tie them up. 
about 30 seconds let's until go, they wake up. Let's go downstairs. Can I, can I go to sleep? Mm, downstairs? We should look I'll give you my socks. Okay. Should we split? No. Then we're going downstairs. You go to that door behind the thingy. Um, Stairway makes its way down into here. This is very clearly a cellar. Cellar is kept free of dust and cobwebs. Uh, it is unsettling cold, unsettlingly cold um, w when you come down here. Um, yeah? Can I hear in there? No. Wait. Nope. Look around? Yeah, I guess we're just going to look around. Uh, you make your way in. This room has just got uh, uh, spare furniture, a laundry tub, and trunks full of old clothing. Uh, mostly this room right here. Got some doors right here and a hallway that goes down to another room. I'll go open the door. Okay. Alright, you go over the door and you open it. <laughs> this is a huge iron door um, that uh, stands before you. Um, <clears throat> and it has three different locks on the front of it. It's probably where Stone is. Wait, wait, wait. Either that or Giant Demon. It has three locks on it? Let's we have that. many keys. Yeah. I try the key. Mm. Okay. Which key? The one that we had uh, for we the. We took old. the one from the old lady and one from uh, the late the lady yeah. castle lantern. Okay. Yeah. Um. You go in and you use uh, Lady Castle Lantern's keys. Um. She has like a ring of them and it oh. opens the door. Um. And it, uh, the door. Uh, Opens uh, slowly. Walk in. Yes. Mm -hmm. So does he. <laughs> Who's that? Make a constitution Guards. saving throw, Achievus. A what? Make a constitution saving throw, Achievus. Uh, Eleven. Is it poison? No. As you step in, the uh, you step in immediately. A moment passes, and then suddenly the room ring, lights up and becomes incredibly cold. A blast of freezing air just uh, happens inside the room, like magically almost, and you, <gasps> you begin to freeze up. I cast um, Absorb Elements. Uh, what does it cost to cast Absorb Elements? It's a reaction. A reaction? Yeah. Okay, what does that do? Um, you have resistance to the triggering damage type until the start of your next turn. The first, uh, the first time I hit with a melee attack, I do 1d6 cold damage. After this. How much do you absorb? Uh, half. I have resistance. resistance. Oh, very cool. So you take... Um, 36. That's weird that you knew that. It's ex it's 36 halved. Oh, that's my hit points. Oh, 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 oh <laughs> my god! It's 36 damage! So, um, so what's half of 36? Shit, I don't fucking know. 18 plus 18. 18. So you take yeah, 18 gold damage. Massive. Well, that hurts a lot. Mm -hmm. Isn't it over half that's massive? Half or more. Cool. Massive. Do we do that? Uh, yes, yeah, you do. Yep. Okay. Constitution go. saving throw? One second. Uh, mm -hmm. what I tell you? <laughs> We're not going to mm -hmm. Uh, it continues to go and go unless you decide to leave. Mm -hmm. It just continues to be incredibly It'll fucking leave. cold. Do you, you walk out? What's in there? Nothing. It's just a fucking empty room. It's an empty room. And then there's a glyph on the there ceiling. Okay. That's stupid. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna look down into the. He other walks room. out of there like chattering teeth. <laughs> You're like freezing. Yeah. yeah. What? Shut the door and I'm gonna start Open locking it. it. <laughs> Try to get down the hallway. All right. Uh, you go down to the next room. Uh, yeah, for traps. 
Make a perception check. Just happened. Yeah. That's me. That's her. Ten. It doesn't look like there's any traps. You make your way over. Uh, it's a wine cellar. Um, the east wall is lined with nearly 30 casks of wine. Wine. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right. There's also a faint draft coming from the south end of the wine cellar. You can feel wind moving through here. Well, can we I'll go over to where I found the wind back in. There's a wall. Investigate. Absolute winter. No, you don't have to investigate. You, you can just see it. There is a faded holy symbol of what you know is Seamorph. You don't re- it was the same one in the ballroom, is what you recognize. It is a silver chalice bearing a golden sun symbol and is painted on the south wall. And there's a draft coming from it? Yeah. Can I like touch the wall around it? You put your hand on it? Mm-hmm. As soon as you put your hand on the symbol. The wall opens, and there is now a room, which is right there. <clears throat> so we're all following. Yeah. That's the st- that's the no what? that that side. Yeah. There. Oh, you said south. No. Surprise. Holy <clears throat> fuck! It's like that. <clears throat> cool. Can I look in here for the traps? <laughs> You're already drinking the wine. <laughs> <laughs> Perception. I don't want to die. Uh, 13. No traps, but there is a stack in this room of 25 pound trade bars. Silver bars are stacked in this room. Um, In the back of the room, there is a dark staircase that descends. I'll, I'll go down the staircase. You guys begin to make your way over towards the staircase, descending into the darkness, not knowing what waits before you. And that's where we're going to end tonight's game. I was going to start stealing shit. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, the next part is like a whole other dungeon, yeah. so we'll have to but. save that for next time. Unless you guys want to go through it, but let me just let you know, uh, <laughs> that's the map for it. So no, it's kind of big. <laughs> so yeah, so we'll do it next time. We're so screwed. Yeah, we're super You're so fucking screwed. I have no more spells. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just leave. Just um... Thanks for joining us. We'll be back next week with another episode of this riveting adventure. Uh, we'll 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 see we'll see you next time. That's the end of the game. <laughs>